Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome. How are you guys doing? Uh, are you guys ready? Upper roads. Oh. Mm. That's something. Oh, flip over. Look closer. Oh, I can move it. Okay. Me, mom, grandma, Helen. Grandma's 80. Okay, are we moving? Mom wants me to pack up my room to get ready for the next week. It's uh, taking a while, but I'm pretty close. There's a few things left before I can cross it from my to-do list. Oh, this is interesting. I didn't expect that for us to be playing like this, but this is very cool. So we need to pack these things or what? Um, sure. I can zoom in. A book. Birthday card. Oh, never mind. Well, I like the graphics. Happy birthday, Teresa. It's always so much fun to have you visit. I can't wait until uh, next time. Uh, I'm so proud of you, your business, and the kind of woman you are... Uh, like becoming sure all of my love aunt august and it's so hard to read <laughs> those writing style Ooh, what is this friendship uh bracelet Tess and fran oh that's good get the nostalgic already me i bet oh right i was supposed to feed you poor little guy it's like a tamagotchi bro tamagotchi era was wild A note. Hey Tez, we doing movie night at the uh, Jar Place? Yes, we are. What movies are you bringing from work? It's a comedy double feature night. I'll give you one clue as to which movies they are going to be. What is it? I already gave it to you. Tez, don't do this to me. Do you have your clue? Okay. DVDs. Alicia Silverstone. Oh, there's a text. Oh, there's a lot easier to read. Thank you. Tim Curry. Are these real movies? I'm not sure. Renting Era. It's a freaking DVD player. What year are we? This must be like late 90s early 2000s i feel like let's put the radio on oh look at this i have one of these mr bun Well, this happened early, like, 1910s, right? That the alcohol smuggling and trafficking and shit like that. I'm not sure if these are, like, real books that the developers liked and they put in the game right like little memories from their times growing up ah nevada home to all manner of folksy cryptids are we in canada cool dads i guess we're in no no it's us okay birthday card i forgot that wait what the belated birthday Her father calls her Tessa Bear. <laughs> That's cute. Hmm. We'll call you soon. So I guess the father is not living with them. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Oh, nice PC, bro. Holy. The memories. Hmm. Better leave these where mom won't see them. Where are we going? Destination Detroit. What is this? Oh, 9-11. Yikes. Man. Having grown with 9-11 uh, and... I don't know. All these events in the early 2000s. It's crazy. It really changed the, the world. Okay. Nail polish. I'm not gonna check everything. I'm just gonna... Mom's work. Invoice. Greenville. Bro, I've been there. The hell? October. Oh, I didn't see the year. I'm not sure if it was showing. Oh no, is my controller drifting or something? Maybe it makes you look there. Report car. What is this? Oh, the <laughs> high school uh, grades. Okay, they're not very good at some stuff. But excellent at others. So I'm guessing that this is a uh, grandma's... Uh, funeral. Okay. Can we play something? Um... Uh, Do we pack everything we need? I'm not sure. Video game inside a video game? Classic. Pick up yearbook. Stay in the school, kids. Don't turn out like me. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. This says school book year 2002. Oh, man. Class of 20. Uh, three year rule of the school, Allison. Man, if if I go to my books at the high school, I was in high school in two thousand, like four, five, six, right? I have all this shit like written also. Ah, uh -huh. having so many memories. <laughs> but this from this is from like a female perspective. It's not the same, but it's somehow similar, I guess. Wash dishes, help uh, tack things for east, uh, estate sale, get movies from work, pack up the rest of the room. Close enough. All right, so I did it. We can leave now. I've been recommended before, yeah. What you have in the trash can? Oh, you have in the trash can? Cookie bag. Butter kisses, bro. The, the the name of the brands of some of this stuff is what is is wild. I think I saw once a video of like funny. Yeah, yeah. Bubble wrap. The funniest thing to do. I right, turn up the radio, man. Enough. <laughs> Can we change the station? <laughs> Something different. <laughs> oh man. All night movie marathon. Nice. Bro. The old TVs. Ah, uh, this photo is cute. When dad came back and visit. Where's my dad? Man, I remember playing on these TVs like gaming. PlayStation 1 era. Your eyes will hurt. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Oh yeah. Right, let's go. Tess? Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. Oh, Paul. What the a basement. name. 
What is it? Oh, it's nothing really. Remember, uh, this? Gah! Oh, we have to choose. I love it. I hate it. What is it? It's a cute dog. <laughs> I love it. Where did this masterpiece come from? <laughs> Your Aunt August made it when she was a kid. It's Lady, the dog we had when we were growing up. Okay, you can and tell. And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now. I wish there were more well, animations, right? But things. depends on the budget, I guess. Not a famous artist, though. <laughs> like they do a little move and then they just stay still. We've still got a little while before we actually awkward. move out, right? Like a week. But the voices are good. Yeah, about the estate sale was weird. Having all those people in the house, picking through Grandma's stuff. I'm glad it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Are you okay? Mom. I just... We took care of your grandmother right up to the end and... And now they're selling the house out from under us. I know. Wanna just... Take a minute and look around and see what's left? I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah, me neither. That sounds really nice. Just looking through what's still here. Aside from this hell. It's really picture. weird. Like, they have 3D models Amazing on the background, and then they have 2D right? mo drawn models Just on top of it. <laughs> uh, so, you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Oh, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Just remember that it needs to be done by Wednesday so we can get everything out of here on time. I know. Okay. Uh, most of Grandma's Helen stuff was sold off in the state sale. I haven't really had a chance to look around and see what's left until now. Well, I guess we're gonna keep personal stuff and just leave the rest. Fedora. Ooh, so dapper. Was this Grandpa's? Can you like, like my controller vibrates when I turn it? But I'm not sure if there is anything else to see, or is this... I'm not sure. Okay, where are we looking at? Are we keeping this? We we even know this dog? I don't know. Do I need to dash something? Do I need to clean? No, I just like to check around. Okay, cool. Are we gonna discover anything crazy? Hold up. A calculator! Damn. What is this? ID. Lunar Lambus. Property Inspector. Grandpa Leo was a. Hello, Lena. Welcome back. For the county. What's that mean? He inspected things for the county. Oh, <laughs> great, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> Commercial buildings, mostly. When we were driving around town, he'd point out the ones he'd inspected. I remember he was very proud of inspecting the department store. You know, the big one on Old Main Street. Every foot of electrical, fire sprinklers, alarm system, everything. He'd say he was the only thing keeping half the buildings in town from burning down. Electrical fires are no joke. True. There's so many accidents that happen because of not checking the building, stuff like that. Show. Clipped out article. Oh, he... Grandfather fought at World War II. Crazy times. Um... What is this? Grandma's advice column was popular, wasn't it? Oh, for a little while, she was yeah. writing. I felt really lucky that I got to ask her for advice face to face. I remember when we went to that one book signing when I was a little kid. You remember that? Yeah, 
I mean, people in the audience seem so excited and nervous to get to ask her their questions right there in person. Sometimes when I'd ask Grandma for advice, she'd start off with, don't tell Millie, but... I think she saved her special advice for me. Well, she could have given some advice to herself and realized that taking out three mortgages on her house wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> Yikes. Kind of open that. Let's go back to the house. This kind of reminds me of uh, what remains of Edith Finch so far. Even though the premise is not as uh, captivating for me, but not bad. We did our best, but the results were... Ugh. They're cooking. Wedding invitation. Who are these people? <laughs> hey, Lena. Mom's friends? I've got to take more pics with Francine this year. We're so cute. This is the Maybe one with the bracelet, right? Hmm. I say it's the phrase. That's her bestie, I guess. Bro, look at that coffee machine. That's crazy. The camera locks on time. Ugh. It's weird. Where are the cookies? Cookie jar. Looking for the... 2,000 cereals. Full of fiber. Yeah. Tropically fun and tropically sweet. It's tropical hippos you gotta eat. The catchy commercials. Okay. Bro, why is the house looking like so messy? Like, I understand they're packing everything, but why do they have food and shit around? That's cute. So that's Leo and Jong Opal, I guess. Wow, was this was this taken right here? Cool. That's Grandpa? Mm-hmm. Probably only a year before he died. Wow, he died, John, uh, then. Heart attack? Yeah. Very sudden. But I guess that's mm. how heart attacks are. Man. I losing a family member so silent like that. Like that's has happened in my family, so I understand the pain. It just, it just feels unfair, but at the end of the day, you have to deal with it. You have to cope. Uh... No six here. Mom, please quit already. For real. Day one. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, how did this end up down here? Huh. Must have been in a drawer of something that got sold. This is from one of the first digs Dad and I went on. Oh. <sighs> It was kind of adorable how excited you both got about going on those digs. I remember being so sure that we would actually find bootlegger gold. <laughs> or at least a clue about it. <laughs> Your dad. <sighs> well, at the very least, he certainly had a way of firing up your imagination. I'll give him that. Hey, that's nice. Expanding the kids' imagination. Oh, that's good. What? No one bought this masterpiece? 
I'm downright offended. So how do they do it in this case? It's like people what? go Four? into their house and, and buy whatever they want. Or like you put it yeah, on the at front. That pottery demonstration they did. They'd call little kids up from the audience. Like a public sale or something? I was, I was so excited. I was jumping up and down, waving my hand because I knew that grandma likes pots. She kept it up on this display shelf with all her other pieces all those years since you gave it to her. Oh. Oh, honey. It's okay. I think I'm gonna hold on to it. I don't wanna keep it. It'll make me too sad. I think it's a happy memory, so. I... I think I'm gonna hold on to it. Grandma held on to it all this time. She wouldn't have wanted me to throw it away. You don't have to be sad when thinking about that. Chinese pottery. Japanese pottery. South American pottery. African pottery. Holy shit. Wow. Is this trouble or something? This is a pottery that my mom collected from around the world are still here. I'm surprised they didn't all sell. I think this one is from South America, not sure which country. And this one's Japanese. I've never even left the country. Why haven't we ever gone anywhere cool? Niagara Falls isn't cool. It isn't Japan. <laughs> well, it's a lot easier to drive to Niagara Falls than Japan. Cheaper, too. But wouldn't it be fun? Me and you, an intercontinental mother-daughter adventure? Maybe an intra-continental adventure. Hmm. I'm thinking of a certain place. Somewhere warm and southwestern. Somewhere where, say, my own father currently resides. <sighs> Listen, we've discussed this. We're not going to Nevada to visit Penn. It's not going to happen. Well, what if I just went by myself? Oh, by she. No way. It's a bad idea. How come? <sighs> There's a bunch of reasons. Like, like, I said so, and I'm your mother. <sighs> Eyes roll. Uh, 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 did we check this one? Did Grandma start dressing like this after you moved out of the house? Mm-hmm. After my father passed. My mother, well... <laughs> turned into After a my hippie. father passed. A you don't say that. Free spirit, you say, say after Grandpa or something doesn't like that. doesn't look like that rubbed off on August much. It sounds so detached. I think it might have. To push her in the opposite direction. Hmm. Stylish. Unique. Well, look at this room. So she made... Poultry, I guess, as well. Yep. And she was a writer. She was an artist, I guess, overall. Uh, very nice. It's very interesting how they, they, they do different shapes. Uh, with different materials and stuff. <clears throat> it's very relaxing. Nowadays, you have YouTube and you can see videos about how people make anything. And also, I've been outside my country... Like three or four times, but never with the family. Now that I think of. Yep. Always with uh, couples. Is this some of the last pottery your grandmother made? Yep. After her fine motor skills started to go. It's still kind of beautiful. It's so sad. Bro. Like, I don't know how long ago did she die, so I don't want to be, uh, how do you say it, uh, un unsensitive, but I don't want to be a fucking downer as well. But if, it, if it was recent, and she's still suffering from it, or like, uh, griefing or in pain, there you are. It's still kind of beautiful. I miss her a Always, lot. Always uh, get the positive side. Yeah, me too. Like you see, even you pick up this beautiful light, they still don't act like they don't care. So, it's okay. I, I just don't want to like over drama. This shit. Nice backyard. 
the fireplace. Come on. I really like all the 2000s details. Hey, all the items and, and such. Is there anything else upstairs? Oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's August. Is that the old Nokia's oh, ringtone? The state sale was a lot. But. I haven't heard that in years. That's easy for you to say. <laughs> yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. I. Well. The what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> right, me. Right. That line. That was. Sorry, it has exactly been at the front of my mind. Me too. Me too, bit. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. Do you have headphones? No, it's fine. Okay. All right. So. Love you. Bye. I'm guessing. I <laughs> true to look me too. I was like, wait, is that? What did she say? Yeah. Nothing helpful. Do you guys think Tess is gonna visit no. her father or like just calling to Opal is? To find some book of hers. Any idea where it could be? It must be upstairs somewhere. Because that, that's like the way the plot. It has a red and black cover, white block beacon, I guess. I'll know it when I see it. Okay, let's go. Odd August call mom looking for some book that is important to her for some reason. Apparently, it's probably somewhere upstairs. All right, so we need to find a book for uh, from grandma to for the aunt so this was my room i don't think the book is gonna be there but look at look at all all these paintings i'm guessing she made them that's nice i on my house at my mom's some paintings are from my granddad he he is a very good painter one or two paintings are from one of my cousins he also likes to paint a lot and all her paintings are from my dad. And then all there's from like random people. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, look at the biking clear, man. Holy shit. I miss these times, honestly. But at the same time. Hmm. Welcome back, uh, Fofa. Oh, somebody bought Grandma's old writing desk? And her typewriter. He said he was an advice columnist, too, and wanted to use them for his writing. He said your grandmother was a real inspiration. He left a very nice note. And a lot of money? Well, <laughs> it was just an old desk. But it had sentimental value. For us, maybe. <laughs> and for him, obviously. Can I see the note? <laughs> sure. Let's see. Wow. That's very touching. Very well, nice. okay. I guess it's all right that he got it. He also has sentimental Glad value to proof. him, so... What type of relation do you guys have with your mom? Like, are you close? Are you distant? Oh, they sold it. I see. This is this is a bit uh, weird to me because we don't do this in Spain. But I guess people come to the house and they buy whatever it's on sale. <laughs> close with my mom? That's very nice. I'm not. <laughs> like, I guess I'll, I'll say mid, mid, midway. Like, the, the way she thinks and acts, I don't like it at all. But then she's a good, caring mom. So, that also, I appreciate and I value that, right? Uh, Well, the book is not here. So, maybe it's on this room. Nice neighborhood. Man, I, America is so different. Like USA. Like the, 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 the urban design is so different. Is that king? 
a hook pole. Oh, maybe we have to go to the attic. We're going to do that in a second. Let me search this room first. Wow, look at this. Look at this bed. It looks like my freaking grandma's bed or something. A bad different? Yeah. <laughs> I am the very model of a modern major general. La 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 da 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 mineral. Oh, man. A note here. Need to open all the cabinets. Let's see. Hey, Ma. Actually, maybe I should just put this back. Hmm. Huh? Well, what are you hiding for? What's this? Oh, it's a hook pole thing to pull down the hatch to the attic. Could August book be up in the attic with Grandma's things? Could be. All right, we can go up there. It's like they're going through the their grandma's first. house, Fafa, and they're finding a lot of uh, memories or things that you used to remember when you were a kid, and you watch a commercial or a product or something, and then you it's like a catchy song, and you sing it. Uh, uh, let's go to the attic. So that's what she's doing. She's going through her memories, basically. So their 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 grandma died, and they're selling their house, her house. And yeah, we're going through like family pictures and stuff like that, right? Where the hell is the attic? Oh, here. Let's see what memories are. Okay, come on up. Up here. <coughs> Damn, it's dusty. Now, where's all that magazines? What is this? This is for like the makeup, right? Like cotton pieces, I think. I'm not sure. Felicity. Sixty cents. Cotton balls, yeah. It's very hard for me on like not knowing some uh, English words, honestly. Creepy dolls. These these are like porcelain dolls. Look like it's like those Russian dolls, but not the ones you can put inside the other. Okay, the matryoshka. Well, this is just creepy stuff. Why are these up here? You'd rather they were downstairs. Good point. Doing great with it. I'm trying to like. <laughs> I don't know. Remember uh, vocabulary, honestly. Especially like house. Uh, you can go house items and have like a thousand words. Lady. This is the dog we saw the picture before. For sure. I need to do the same in Spanish, right? ¿Cómo se llama esto, Fafa? ¿Cómo llamas tú a esto? This is a scary game, or no, this is more like a. Like life is strange kind of thing, like a uh, teenager chanclas. <laughs> nice. Completely forgot old Spanish after exams. Bro. Vid. What are you gonna do when you have to go with Luis and Leon to Spain to save the world? What are you gonna do? Is the wedding dress from Grandmas? Wow. Bowling trophy. Oh, Grandpa Leo was a bowler? He and Dad have that in common. What do you mean? I'll wing it then. Dad loves bowling? No, he doesn't. But he's always wearing Chicken those win. bowling shirts. Didn't he used to be in Chunk a league class. or something? <laughs> okay. Honey, he just thinks those shirts make him look hip. Bowling shirts? Have you ever... Uh, Fafa, ¿alguna vez has escuchado alpargatas? Esa palabra. Ch uh, they have they have so many names, right? In English too, like flip flops and nunca. Welcome back, Lena. 
Uh, Chanclar, Pargatas. What, what else can you call them? Th no, zapatillas, no. Uh, bowling shirts. I'm not sure what they we're talking about. I'm sorry. I need to pay more attention. Bienvenida, bienvenida. Are you kidding? I thought he must have so much bowling pride that he wore those shirts around in spite of them being obviously not cool. <laughs> no, no. They're definitely a fashion statement. I think he got the idea from that movie Swingers. This explains so much. <laughs> like why you never once saw him actually bowl? Yes. Okay, that was kind of weird. <laughs> I'm wearing those right now, by the way. <laughs> Whoa, Grandma's wedding dress. I wore it on my wedding day, too. And you can wear it when you get married. I'm not getting married. I think I'll want something more modern, definitely. I think it looks honestly this old, old school dressing style from like the 1800s to like the mid 60s or 70s. I think that style is very cool. I don't know. It may be uncomfy as fuck, though. That's true. But I guess... Yeah, yeah. Also, a little bit off topic, off topic with this getting married and stuff. I'm not getting married. Like, I was watching a video uh, on, like, fertility and, uh, net, like, uh, statistics on, like, the countries and how many kids a woman has um and they were saying that in south korea right now so okay to give to give some to give some uh, basics to keep the population stable like let's say you are in a country with a million people to keep a million people uh over time every woman needs to have 2.1 kids right because some people are gonna die some kids or whatever they're going to reproduce. So 2.1 average to keep the population stable. If you have more than 2.1, the population will grow. If you have less, the population will decline. In South Korea, the average was like 0 0.9 or something. <laughs> it's just crazy. That, 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 what do you guys think about that? Like, is it is it like an economic issue? Is like people don't have money to raise children, or they are too expensive, or it's like a it's more like a time working. Like people don't have like women don't have time to get pregnant and have a family, or it's more like a cultural so, so like social thing that maybe men are not engaging with women as much, or like their relations are not working, or like what is happening, man? What is happening? But compared to, I don't know, compared to like 20, 50, 100 years ago. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like uh, relations have deteriorated a lot. Especially with like social media, like all these, I don't know, like the, all these, uh, how, to, how, to, how to describe it? Like the exposure and the, I don't know, there's, there is a lot of uh, pauses or like, points you can talk about. I don't know about in Korea, but I feel like here in the US, people don't want kids because they won't have time to themselves. More of a selfish reason I see here. And then marriage. It's sad. People thinking marriage is bad and not worth it. I think like, like the thing with marriage is like there is marriage and then there is Catholic or like religious marriage. I think that that's different, right? Like, you wanting to spend the rest of your life with the person you love, that's amazing. And marriage is like a symbol of, like, committing to that. I respect that and I like that. But then religious religion took over that and it's like, okay, you're going to get married under our uh, conception, or like, under our... Uh, under our, like, you're gonna go to a church, there's a ball, all that stuff, right? I don't support that as much, but the idea of 
two people who love each other to like being like, all right, we're going to promise each other we're, we're not going to cheat. We're going to stay together. We're going to have children. We're going to well, like all that stuff is beautiful, I think. But then the whole uh, religious thing, I don't like it. I don't know how other countries are. Pretty much very similar, especially in the Western. It's, I think it's like Western culture. But also in Japan or like Asia or maybe not because China, India, those countries have like, I don't know how many kids each woman has, but maybe they have like four or five average, probably. <laughs> Marriage is definitely not bad, but it has to be really with the right person. For sure, Lina, for sure. I mean, if you're not sure, don't marry. But I think if you are with a person for a f also, don't marry too fast. <laughs> That's a lesson, uh, a lesson I learned. I, mean, I never married, but yeah. Yo, Mindo, what's up? Welcome, man. <laughs> We're talking about a lot of different topics here. You guys know I always like to go deep. That's what she said. But, uh, yeah. Is it me or you're looking leaner? What is leaner? Leaner is like, I'm leaning, but like, I need to be straight. <laughs> uh,. Like, not to get too deep, but you don't like the idea of marriage in relation with God in any religion. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Oh, fine, fine. I'm, I'm bringing up this topic, this topic myself because I, I, I enjoy debating and talking about this stuff. So, yeah, no, no God involved for sure. Uh, whatever the case, you are looking good. Sheesh. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you for the compliment. I bet you're looking good too, man. I bet you're looking good too. <laughs> but yeah that's the thing right like th there is like a common trend like even myself I I've been in this position like I'm not getting married right but at the end of the day I don't know like forming a family I mean that's that's so fulfilling and that's one of our life goals and motivations and I don't know like having your own children and raising them upright giving them uh, proper values and leaving the seed in the world for the future i think that's uh the ultimate goal of life maybe <laughs> yeah papa is from the us i got married both civilly and through religion so i've done both yeah papa my brother too and I, that's fine like i respect that I'm I'm just talking from myself, like, you know. I always picture you as a German. <laughs> no, Fafa. Fafa's father, I think, is from Chile, man. That so, she speaks a lot of Spanish, and she. She has that that South American beauty to her. That Latina look. <laughs> I'm only half white, yeah. No, nah, but you're like skin wise. I mean, I mean, maybe like gene wise, but looking wise, you're you're white. <laughs> don't don't be like Peter Griffin, you know. Like, you get your DNA test, you you get like, oh, I'm one percent African, so I'm black. <laughs> oh. Man. I look like my mom, but I have my dad's personality and Hispanic vibes. Yeah, I I I, I can see that. She got good vibes. Mm. <laughs> Not you, Lena. But yeah, getting married. Ah, let's continue. Uh, I think I will want something more modern. Definitely. Let's pick this one. I think I'd want something more modern. But, well, just look. It's still in such good condition. And it'd be handed down from your grandmother to me <laughs> to you. Okay, but I'm... Hey, Elena, I'm take the compliment. wear it just because it would be... Not going to wear it. Is, it will be weird because uh, something grandma will have wanted. Something you want me to do. Uphold some kind of tradition. Interesting. The social contract. The family contract. <laughs> mm. 
upholding some kind of tradition. Oh, it's not about some stuffy tradition. I would just think you would want to. But I just said I don't. Oh, you don't know you'll chill. feel that way when the time comes. You might change your mind. Oh, stop trying to... Man. You don't know what I want better than I do. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you don't know how you'll feel. I know how I feel. If I wanted to consider wearing it for my theoretical wedding, I'd say I did. But I don't. I want my own dress. If I even have a wedding, okay? I know better than you. <laughs> I mean... I didn't have a traditional dress. wedding. It meant How a lot so? to Grandma. Any details and you can you. give? Isn't that enough? She had a wedding at uh, at Disneyland, guys. With a with a paintball and hold up, hold up. guitar. Can we play? Come on, bro. Oh. What's under here? This is the book, I think. Uh, here, let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Ooh, she knows something. Hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of old stuff in here. But, uh... Mom? Hold on, it might still be here somewhere. There's something... Oh? Uh, here it is. Maybe if your dad had read this... Guys? He wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. Mom! What's in there? Forget about August's book. We found a weird suitcase in a secret compartment in the attic. Did Grandma Helen hide it there? Why? The answers may lie within. Oh shit. Oh shit, guys. The plot thickens. How do we open it? Ooh. Snapshots. Oh. Ah, oh, this is just some junk from the old summer Why house. is it hidden there? Your family had a summer house? Well, it was more of a cottage, I guess. We spent the summers up there for a long time. And you've never taken me to visit? <laughs> well, I haven't been there since I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. The summer after my dad died. I think mm. there were just too many memories there. Oh my god. What? Aren't you seeing it? Seeing what? Right here. Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole. Uh-huh. It's obviously the location of the buried bootlegger gold. <laughs> In our backyard, you mean? Indubitably. She wants to be probably buried a bone there. Dogs don't really do that. Only cartoon dogs do that. I'll walk myself down the aisle. Bones, but Ooh. real life bootleggers bury gold. That must be a backyards? pretty In 1968? View. It was a different time, mother. Very sure. classic. Man, it must suck like yeah, like having family far away from you and I bet you will have wanted like not sure if your father was there, but wait, so we have to go to the back here now. What? Uh, I'm so confused. Wasn't there anything else on the on the suitcase? Just these pictures? Okay, maybe we can open this now. Nope. Oh, well, I, I don't know how to go to the backyard. Maybe there was something else on the suitcase and I didn't shake it properly. Let me go back there, I guess. So when I saw the trailer for this game, they were like talking on a car. I think. I'm talking by memory. I saw the trailer like two years ago. So I'm guessing eventually they're gonna travel somewhere. I'm not sure if they're gonna travel to the dads or move shit. I miss this. Or they're gonna travel to the summer house or whatever, but yeah. So I'll start by actually walking down the aisle. Okay. <laughs> I guess there is a lot of details on that, Fafa. A caravan. Cool van. 
Hit band, groovy. Groovy van. <laughs> I did love that van. The engine died for good while we were. I got some lore. <laughs> so I just turned it into my bedroom after that. <laughs> you slept in a broken down van? Well, the summer house was small, and I always had to share a bedroom with August. When I realized I could have my own space just by sleeping out in the van, it was a no brainer. Did you, like, redo it to be like a bedroom inside? Yeah. Your grandfather pulled the seats out for me, and I set up a little bed frame with a mattress and all sorts of posters and pillows and shelves and things like that. <laughs> wow, that's actually cool. Could I do that? With our car? No! <laughs> that's the vibe. Bro, like, growing up with siblings, like, having brothers or sisters, I think it's nice. I think if you're... Yeah, but... Like, being a... a not how like being a lone child how, how you call it like no no child like uh it's a single child right uh i don't know i think you you learn a lot how to, how to socialize and how you learn a lot of things i miss my siblings being stupid and hanging out yeah right like they are a pain like for most of the time not nice but yeah still They can be annoying, but it's better to have them than not. Exactly. Thank you. Fafa is putting up uh, my thoughts. <laughs> Helping me to... To describe them. <laughs> Thank you, Fafa. <laughs> like, so many times I want to say something and I don't know how to say it, but... Yeah. I'm very conscious. <laughs> is this anything related to the family or something? Or? I don't know. Nixon, damn. When was Nixon president? In 76? I'm not sure. So you get there soon with who? <laughs> well, whoever this guy was, it... Sure seems like he and grandma had something pretty intense going on. Did grandma have an affair? Was grandma Helen... Some kind of secret relationship. Cheating on grandpa. Planning to run off with this guy. I mean, he... Leo died very young, right? So I'm not sure if it was before or after. But... Cool. In some kind of secret relationship let's not assume anything no far. not the helen i knew <gasps> intrigue grandma what were you up to oh diary for 1968 very hippie A secret wedding. Oh, this is, is this like a story, like a, or is this real? No, I think this is for the book, right? Hmm, love at first. The voice. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's say you find your grandma's diary from when she, when she was, I don't know, 30 years old. Will you guys read it? Honestly, I wouldn't. So, I will not mind them telling me stories they want to tell me, but I don't want to, like, invade their privacy or something. I don't know. Fafa says yes. <laughs> Grandma's diary? <laughs> I'll be curious, we? but... Oh, I don't think... 
We I mean, close with really... my grandma, oh, so maybe that Grandma helps. wouldn't That's have cute. cared. Yeah, she I'm dead. What difference does it make to me? I can hear her saying it now. <laughs> hey, they didn't say this dialogue. Like, why? Come on, just a peek. Sure. Right, let's see. Right in time. Neighbors, church ladies. Opal is caught up in her own teenage dramas as usual. <laughs> August has worn me a bit. She's becoming. August is like the on deck call, right? To find the book, I think. It's like, I, I have a, a hard time with names, man. Imagination. I wish I could. Uh. My correspondence with <clears throat> this mysterious person conceal. It's only a matter of we're together again in person. Not to tell a soul. But he knows and I know soon enough the waiting will be over and this will all be in a rear view. All this comes after July, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so she did. She did. She was in love with someone else. Forget about the past. Leo's dead. All that matters now is our future together. Drama. Yeah, she 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 for sure. Oh, a key. What is this? So, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before grandpa died and they were gonna run away together you never heard about this no this is a and what is this key to why is it hidden in here something at the summer home i assume okay well, we're well, going there now we've got to go check the whole place out to find out who this mr man was maybe we'll find that bottle of glare gold what if she is a uh... Like, Opal is a daughter of this man instead. You know, like... <clears throat> I, I once heard the statistics that one in every ten kids... Uh, the, the, the biological dad is not who's raising them, basically, right? So, basically, the mother cheated. So, <laughs> it, it can happen. It can happen. Uh, to find out who this mystery man was don't you want to know i don't know tess I, we still have so much to do i want a dna here. test come on it'll be fun an adventure i still need to call tina at the theater and finish cleaning up the fridge come on we never get to do stuff together you spend all your time at the theater and i spend all my time in school when when was the last time we were able to do something to talk well you do want to know, don't you? I can see it, Mom. I can see it in your face. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come on. You know, a little change of scenery would be nice. Let's go. We're going to the summer ah, house. That's the spirit. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for a little road trip, right? To tie up some loose ends. Right. And some of those little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Yeah, sure. All right, it's a deal. Let's go. Let's hit the road and see what we find. I hit the really road, use a Jack. Break from all this, mm -hmm. Even if it's just mm -hmm. for a weekend. Mm -hmm. Pack your overnight bag. Let's go. Yes. And bring your homework. I don't need you falling behind at school. What about August's book? We can FedEx it to her when we get back. Okay. FedEx. A road trip. This is gonna be. You might have me homework. Oh. Oh, here we go. We're on the road to the secret summer home to find out what's the deal with Grandma Helen's mystery man. Who knows what we might find? It will be a while before we get there, though. Hey, yeah. What is this? 
the directions. Road body printed from a freaking random website. Man, 2000s was magic. We didn't even have that, so we just had a map. <laughs> we just... I right, go through this road. Good. Turn, turn. You had to be your own GPS. What are you doing back there? Are you gonna do your homework? No. Reading in the car makes me car sick. Then what Same. are you messing with back there? I don't know. I so hate. Stop it. It's not safe. Car trips. Like I don't mind trains or buses, but cars. I have, I have do a lot of car trips in my life, but. Sometimes my body's like, fuck you, you know? <laughs> Dear Dari, today we found out Ramos out. <laughs> hey, she had an affair. She was on the hippie eras. Come on, guys. Come on. Air fresh is there. Is it, is it okay if I turn on the radio? Guys, manners. Look at this. Kids in the 2000s asking your mom if you can turn on the radio. Is it okay if I turn on the radio? Wow. I don't know how much signal we'll get, but yeah, sure. <laughs> what highway are we on anyway? Why is there oh, no this cars? Is the old two lane north route from before there was a freeway. <laughs> It used to be the main route north, but now it's pretty off the beaten path. Well, it was, well, it was some we 2000s, man, 2000 music up, is, so I wanted to take is a it buy, again. for sure. It's nice out here. It's nice out here. Open the window. Let the wind, mm -hmm. let, let the wind blow. It used to be a lot more cars on the road and little shops and towns along the way. But with all the traffic going up the freeway now... She's going so slow. ...kind of died off. Is, is she going super slow? Like, look at look at her speed. 60. But she's going 60, though. 60 miles per hour? That's like... How much is that? Like 90 kilometers per hour or something? That's... Yeah, that's... I mean, if it's not a highway... It's okay. But there's no cars, so. When did you say I the stopped last doing homework when I started a house was? Oh. That was a long time ago. When man. I was, I guess, fifteen, your age. I'm sixteen. I meant about your age. Bro, my mom doesn't even know my age. <laughs> really long time. Why don't you have like homework recently in high school? It's a long time ago. <laughs> So a super long so, time. A super long time ago. Wow. No one's been there since like the 19th century. Ha <laughs> ha. What was the Industrial Revolution like? <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. Did you ever meet Galileo? <laughs> Jesus, how old do you think I am? I mean, I'm just estimating. It, it's a rough. Do you guys estimate. know your parents' it's age? It's a rough estimate. Like exact number. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s. I think summer of 68. 1968. Hold so up. So, like, 35 years ago? And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The summer house? And the dark ages, but yeah, the <laughs> summer house. <laughs> Both 49. That's very young. Wow. I just always really liked it there. Both of my parents are in the 60s. Escape. From what? At the same time, you Everything, are also John Fafnacht. Yes, huh? school, town, same old. Every day just it's felt nice. like it was ours when we were there. Why did you stop going? She told you before because that that. Why did that? Why why did we never go? It's kind of selfish. I'm drunk. So why did you stop going? Oh. Most like um, forty-seven. That fifty. Nice. Yeah, we stopped going as a family Very when I was age. your age, and then I went off to college, and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where he. Bro, I wonder if we're gonna make the test. So you're saying your father is lazy? 
No, that's a hard worker. He's a man of leisure. No, dad's a hard worker. <laughs> okay. He'd work late at the video store all the time. He'd be there with the closing shift. Watching movies on the store monitors. <laughs> You've got to have something on for the customers. Closing is a pain in the butt. And he'd manage the schedules and <laughs> store finances. He even made the window displays. Fine, those were pretty cool. No. I mean, I guess there is a real reason I never told your father about the old summer place. Because I knew <laughs> he would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades out there in the middle of nowhere? It's gotta be falling apart. That sucks. It could still be in a good shape. Yeah. No. Yeah, you're right. That sucks. I was hoping maybe we could I pick mean... it up. And use it as a vacation home? <laughs> We're about to be kicked out of our actual It can home. be fucked up and you can still fix it up. Home for. To live in? To live in? Tess, I, I'm sorry, it's... You couldn't live there, and not, not year-round. Why not? Well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. It's better than not having a home at all, isn't it? Fine, then where are we going to live? I don't know, you have a point, Mom, but... <laughs> Fine. Then where are we going to live? I don't know yet. We're gonna be living in this car, aren't we? <laughs> no! <laughs> Just like when you lived in that van. We can find an apartment. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? The theater company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but... Mom. What? The daughter being the realistic one here. When are you going to give up on the theater? We need money. Alright, let's go to the point. We need money. <laughs> Believe me, Tess. I know. Oh? If Dad was still here. Whoa. Excuse me? Whoa. He, he could help. Pay for things. If your father and I were still together, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. Hmm. Have you asked Dad if he could send back some money? They haven't told us yet what Dad? happened between the... Absolutely not. His parents, right? <laughs> he, he doesn't have the money. But Dad moved out west... for work. <laughs> well, don't laugh at me. I'm not. I'm not. It's just... work. Sure. It, it wasn't for work? Then, then what was it then? I think I deserve to know. If he hasn't told you his side of the story, I'm not going to step in and take that responsibility for him. Oh, like I she. Did. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. Oh, she. We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. <sighs> you idealize your father, you know that? And... I just don't really want to talk about it right now. Hmm. Fine. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. Beam. I'm pretty sure I heard my phone buzz from the glove compartment. Okay. I'm guessing this uh, road is infinite, so we can talk before I pick up the phone. Because I was thinking, right, back in the days, at least in Spain, divorce was not a thing, right? Like, if you married someone, even sometimes you couldn't even pick who you married. It was more like a tradition thing where your parents or your dad got to choose for you most of the time. Or at least get permission. <clears throat> it was a very sexist thing to do, but we have moved on from those times, right? Uh, arranged marriage, right? And also, when you marry, even even if you married someone because you love them, let's say you were 20 years old, like back in the days, uh, marriage were also a lot uh, younger. Uh, let's say you marry someone. If that person changes or something happens to them or 
anything happens in five, ten years, and they are like 30 years old or 35, 40, if something happens and you are unhappy, it was not common or it was like very rare to separate, to like divorce. So basically you are stuck with that person for life. And I think a lot of marriages or like people suffer from that. From both sides. I think mostly women though, but yeah. Even but nowadays I think it's the opposite. Nowadays at any problem or any anything bad happens, people have a hard time, like couples have a hard time to like overcome those problems or obstacles and come to an agreement at the end of the day you love each other I don't know. and even even more if you have children together like i think the children at the end of the day are the real victims because growing without that mother figure or a parent figure is awful like i think you need both to like because i think your mother teaches you certain things and then your parent, your dad teaches you other things. I mean, that's how nature works, man. <laughs> that's how we have been doing it as a species for like thousands of years, right? So. If we're here alive today, it's because of it works. <laughs> I'm grateful and super lucky to have found someone where we can work together through a lot of things. That's very nice, Fafa. Like. Finding a significant other where most of the things should go smoothly, right? That's why you're together. There is like chemistry. And then if if something is not working, both of you you can see from the other person and from your own perspective that both of you are putting effort into solving whatever it's happening, right? Like the pro I I had this happen. Uh Looking back into retrospective on like my previous relationships, I can see my own mistakes and I can also see the other person's mistakes and I can learn from that. Um, become a better person overall and try to not repeat the same mistakes. It's a rarity, but it's so precious. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I hope uh, for all my friends and other family members can find that for themselves, right? That's the thing, like. Hmm. We are we're living in a world where, like we have the most connections ever. Like you can talk to people like, across the world like we're doing right now. But at the same time we're lacking that intimate connection. Right? I guess that's, that's the double edge of uh this uh, globalization. That's why it's good to date a lot of different types of people so you can figure out what works for you. Right. Yeah. I I haven't I don't know. I wouldn't say I have dated too many people. I have dated, I don't know. Like serious relationships I'm talking, right? I would say like six, seven, eight, something like that. Someone that I could see myself being with. Yeah stuff i can't agree with that but yeah anyways <laughs> they were talking about so this game is talking about like how grandma was uh married and then the, the other guy or like how opal and uh, test that separated and you can see there is some grudge there there's some and um, how do you say it like and um, solve issues Either be dating or going on dates. It's it's hard, Papa. I think for women, it's so different. Like, <laughs> yeah. Because I don't know this is another whole different topic, so I don't want to get into it. I know someone who got married the very first person they dated, first kiss, first everything. I mean. If they are sure about each other and everything works, why not? Sometimes it's like how to how to put it. What what's a good metaphor? Like you 
let's say you pick a random number from 1 to 10, right? Sometimes the first number you get is the... Let's say you had to guess a number from 1 to 10, right? If you know, you know, right? I think everyone is different. Yeah. It's, it's luck. It's luck. It's just meeting the person you, you both connect with, so... Like, if I think with the people I've been with, it's been, like, very weird, as in, like, how we met and how we got together, and it's, like, a lot of luck is involved, a lot of, like, being in the right time at the right place, like, if I wasn't there at that time, I would have even met them, right time, right place, right, Papa? <laughs> College. That's a good place. Everything is up to the person and the personality and perspective. Both of them. That's the thing, Lena. Great mind things alike. Talk by talk for yourself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's been services for two miles now for like how long, guys? <laughs> Dang. Hey, I'm calling you great mind. I'm calling myself not great mind. <clears throat> My mom is so slow. Yeah, I'll uh, speak at the phone. Nice phone, bro. Bro. Car registration. Eh, okay. Dad, hey, Tessa Bear, just thinking of you. That's cute. Easy to forget about weekends here. Every day is a work day for me. These are like SMS, by the way. This is not like WhatsApp or anything like that. Not much at work right now, but good to hear from you. Grammar. <laughs> I remember having a flip phone the best. Yeah. How's work going? Oh, we had, we had to pick an answer. Sorry, do you need to get back to it? No, let's, let's engage. Good, making money. Would you be able to send some money back to me a month? Wow, that's too fast. That's too fast. Never mind. I'll ask you another time, bro. Why? I don't like any of these answers. This is so like cutting in short, poor guy. And this is so selfish. Oh, you're making money? Give me some. <laughs> a month, like. Uh, I don't like to. I don't like. I feel like I'm letting him down. You know. I think I'll buy myself one. I slid myself on the wall. No. <laughs> no. Okay, I don't I don't wanna ask for money. I prefer doing this. I forget I know you're busy, I'll ask another time. Oh I, I skipped a message, I think. I'm sorry. Did you tell your mom you bought the tickets? Not yet. Me and mom actually on a road trip right now. Who 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 writes like this? Like, I get abbreviation and cutting it short, but they, they are literally... Man. I'm uh, going to find mystery and going to her old summer house. Can you believe it? They write like cause, cause they can, I see. They write, I see. I see what you did there. Well, you need to tell her, kiddo, or else I will. And you know she will freak, lol. So Dad and Tess are bought some tickets to go somewhere, right? To the concert or to a trip or something? Okay, okay, I promise I will ask up. I know you will. Loved you. Actually had to get back to it now. Treat your mom nice, okay? Love you. Talk to you later. Loved you. See you soon. <laughs> I like that. Uh, that, that. That emoji. Are you sending text mom messages to someone? Having to do emojis with light letters. Yeah, like... <laughs> um, yes. Yes? Yes, I am. To who? It's to whom, mother? It was dad. <laughs> XD, <laughs> right? Bro, like, I, people, some kids tell me, bro, don't story, do XD, huh? it's cringe. Uh, I was like, bro, we invented that shit, okay? No comment. It's alright. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. Wow. You're not my enemy. Or dad's. 
Sometimes it feels that way. What about Ubu, guys? Come on. Well, it's... Don't do it. I'm not supposed to. Don't do it! <laughs> oh. oh, new chapter, I guess. Oh, here we are! Holy shit, this place is looking bad. Look at the van. <laughs> Are you okay? I just didn't think it would still be here. <laughs> um, Mom, it... Well, it is. <laughs> this is not our new home. And it looks to be surprisingly well-preserved. <laughs> the look of this it's, one. Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> A little more... Run down, falling apart, of a down. <laughs> uh, run down. Run down? weathered than the last time I was here <laughs> but I guess I am too want to start looking around yeah let's do it this isn't exactly what I picture when mom said they had a summer home but it's it's still pretty cool in a retro way there's probably lots of cool stuff old stuff inside from when mom was a teen and hopefully some clues to the identity of grandma Helen's mystery man <laughs> guys what about this one? Why? Why didn't you type? I guess you have to type something first. Yeah. And this one. Come on. Ah. Right. So I remember this was a few years ago, like four or five years ago. I remember I was uh, on a restaurant with my family, my brother, mom, dad. Really? <laughs> and I was like, I'm not sure. I was like texting someone, right? And I was writing that stuff, like XD, blah, blah, blah. And then I think I tried to explain to my mom, like, what those icons were. And she didn't understand. Like, this is like a face, like, smiling. Like, I was like, if you look into the side like this, it looks like, it looks like, a, or like the, the, the cat emote. And she was like, I don't see it. I don't see it. <laughs> oh, man. Did you do these with grandma? No, August did. I never had a green thumb. She loved helping my mother in the garden. Really? Why do you say it like that? I don't know. Can you picture August getting her hands dirty out wow, the garden father. now? I'm going to tell my mom to say that. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> But if my mother was ever out in the garden, she was out there with her, helping the best she could. I remember one year, maybe when she was six, she started crying so hard when it came time to pick the berries and vegetables. But the plants worked so hard growing them. You can't just take them. Aw, well now I feel bad for the plants. She was a sensitive kid. Yeah, we read, so am I. We read a note so before. what happened? Hmm? To August. <laughs> she doesn't seem so sensitive now oh but she was Life special happened, or something i guess do you guys are you guys searching that on the internet i guess to go and paste the one that's really funny is like flip the table and then put the table back or like give uh take my energy i'm not sure if you guys were on twitch around like 2016 2015 but man, they, they're all dank memes. Those, those, those were such wild times. <laughs> Lena is an expert. You have them on your keyboard? Ah. So you use them often? I see. Hold up, what is this? Uh, where, that, that looks important, so... That, that may be like the key we got from the, from the diary. So we're gonna leave that for later. First, I just wanna check around. In the emoji section, I see. Let's check the van. I'm enjoying this game so far. How do you, how do you guys like it? It's your groovy van. And it's locked. Gotta keep all the groovy stuff in there secure. Please tell me the keys are somewhere. 
I need to see what a lava lamp looks like after it just sits there you there go, for 30 years. They might have been... I used to use those kind of emotions so much remember. in the past. Don't do this to me, mother. I have to see how much tie-dye is in there. Please. Oh, August was always trying to steal my keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. They're probably in her room. Uh -oh. Ugh, the little criminal. All right, I'm on the case. <laughs> the groovy stuff is so close, I can taste it. Uh, this, is, this isn't exactly what I picture when mom said they had a summer, a summer hope. I see pretty cool in a retro... Uh, okay, I think we already read that. But we need to find the keys for the van on August uh, room. <laughs> Enter trailer home. Is this uh Is this a trailer home? It's a mobile. There is a lot of like Twitch what did I just memes say? with those They're kind not of the stuff. Same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer like towed by a big truck go on <laughs> a mobile home doesn't have wheels well why didn't you just say that well I, I will admit it took me a moment to untangle the nuances okay Oof. okay let's go inside I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, you can clean, fix a few things here and there. It's gonna take a month or two of work, but can do it. Oh, that's the dog from the puppy from the painting we saw before. <gasps> is this? Penca la casa. Is is this lady? There she is. Ah, good girl. I've seen picture of. Pets from my from my parents and grandparents before I was born. It's very it's very interesting, right? Like, man, their resemblance to August's drawing of her is uncanny. The resemblance to August's portrait of her Cosita. is uncanny. Those vague eyes, linda. the unhinged jaw. August really captured her malevolence. Malevolence. My kids will see how Rohan was. Uh -huh. She looks like a sweet old dog, but it took That's August's cute. artistic how is Rohan, to by expose way? the darkness within. I love art. The darkness within. I think it looked pretty cute, though. Nothing. He's a good boy. Have you ever taken to a trip or something, Fafa? Pamphlet. What's Fallout? <laughs> Imagine living on the Cold War during the 70s and having to explain your civilization or like your citizens that there could be a fucking nuclear war anytime <laughs> and how to have like safety measures. <laughs> Holy shit. And oh man. Just get inside your fridge, guys. It's like Indiana Jones. Like like people had, had shelters, people had bunkers with like emergency food and water. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Yeah, we, they told us like when August was young, she had a lot of uh, imagination and she was special. So I'm guessing she Locked. she called like that way. Maybe the little key from grandma's diary we'll go extinct nope. sooner or later yeah but what secrets might you hold little drawer oh is this the, the, is the key for this drawer we find a locked drawer in the desk in the living room but the key from grandma's diary didn't open it maybe we can find another key all right so it's not for this nice plate gardening i gotta go my battery will die soon oh no lina thank you for all the time here though i'm glad to see you 
This is very similar to the one we had. Oh, look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt won that for me at the fair. Kurt? Bye bye, hey. Lina. Well, Charge your we phone. Met at the drive in diner. <gasps> you had a summer fling? <laughs> Have a I... nice rest of your day. Well, was he cute? I thought he was Good very night. handsome. <laughs> and he rode a motorcycle. Oh my god, a bad boy? Bad boy. <laughs> well, honestly, He's I a baddie. fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty, uh, cool on his motorcycle. Okay, mom. <laughs> he was very romantic. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that. Well, a little like that. Ooh, look at her ah, giggle. No. So, what happened? Did you break up with him or? Bro, I, uh, I don't remember. I never ask. I don't want to know like about that. my parents' like wow. previous Did I relationships. Hey, maybe we should keep looking around you know? for more relevant things. Like. Sheesh, what happened here? Oof. Is that the water? Like the heating water? I gotta go cause? Wait, what? Oh, the kitchen is a mess. Crackers, eat them! They've been here for 30 years. You. You. Postcard? Hold up. Greetings from Canada. Wait, wait, wait. Expired card. Well, hey. would you look at this? A postcard from the mystery man. Ooh. What was he running from? The cops, the mob, his conscious. The cops? For what? Murder one. Tax evasion. Stealing. I don't know, man. Stealing? Grandma's heart? Oh! <laughs> nice joke. <laughs> okay, Tess. Sheesh. <laughs> I like this decoration. What do you guys think about these plates? I think they're cute. Summer's lease hath all too short a date. William Shakespeare. Man. I like the design of everything. It looks so cool, right, guys? Oh, that's a fucking shotgun. Or oh, like a rifle. Oh, we cannot pick it up? Damn it. <laughs> Sheesh, what it's happened cute. here? I agree. Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No! God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. Well, what's that thingy back there? Ooh, a trap door. A maintenance hatch for getting down into More the crawl secrets. space under the house. What are we going to discover? The crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Bro, I feel like we're going to discover like later so they exchange. Well, if we could get into oh, the crawl grandma space, and the we could climb back guy. up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. <laughs> and also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. That was the main reason. Like a skeleton. Listen, you can give it a peek if uh, you want. She has a lot of but imagination. There is no way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me. Okay. A freaking mother of a papa. Okay, so we need to. Maybe we can go through the other door that we saw here. 
Or is this closed? Just push it, man. Just kick it. What's in here? That's just August's old room. Let's try and find some other way in. So the key for the body is there. We can get into August's room from the outside. Maybe there's another way in. Well, the water heater is blocking the way. Let's check this hatch. Let this door here. Can I even fit through there? So this is how we get into the crawl space. Hell yeah, brother. So this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. <laughs> so this is how Papa, when are you gonna stream? with an innate sense of curiosity like, get into the crawl no space? Memes. Among no memes. other personality traits? Real yes. question. Fine then. I'll Serious. go along. You're probably too frail to get in here anyway. Oh! So freaky knees of yours. Wow. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. That reverse psychology you worked. Wow. I feel like... Mom is very naive. Oh, let's go. Monday next week. You promise? Is there anything here to inspect? Why is there a freaking drawer here? Oh shit! There is actually a skeleton, but this is from the freaking dog. Oh, cool. Cool. Pinky promise. All these pictures here. They were on a hole. Like they were papers. Ooh, this is good. Mom's gotta see this. Another postcard. Right, did you from our new home, right? What's this? Houseboat. Let's make plans for the big move. Something I learned since Leo died is that being loaded with cash is the only way to live. Get ready to leave all your worries behind. That's crazy. But I mean, if they're doing it after Leo died, I don't think I don't see a problem oh, with that. Way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Right, so now we are in August's room, right? Hey, mom, I found something. Look, look. Another letter. He wanted to live with grandma on a boat. How to run stream stuff again? Today I was like, uh, looks like, like it, let's go. Well, it looks like a boat, a houseboat. Nah, but it should work fine, Fafan. Don't worry about that. Hmm. Can't see much of the surrounding area. But they have the name. Trees. Maybe we can look for some of those. A place in Canada with trees. <laughs> that narrows it down. Okay, so we're here. Search it in the map. Kurt, about two ha hours drive. Wait, how do they know where Kurt lives? What's this about? Oh, that was the town where Kurt lived. Oh. You know, we were a summer when thing, she but we were planning met him. on how we could keep seeing each other once we both went home after the summer. I guess I was feeling pretty lost. I latched onto him and held on tight. He became my plan for how I would be okay. Mm -hmm. And that didn't work out? Yeah, like these things often do. So how'd you end up with Dad? Sorry? Well, you didn't end up with Kurt. How'd you end up with Dad? Oh. oh. It was a lot of years later that I met your dad. After college, I moved back to Greenville for my bookkeeping job. It was, it was actually... When I was in one of the first plays I performed in at the Andromeda. Your dad was in the audience. Mm. He hung around outside the stage door after the show and flagged me down. He said there was a problem with the production. He was so distracted by my that? beauty oh. that he couldn't pay attention to anything else going on in the play. Andromeda. That's so romantic. That's so lame. 
<laughs> kind of cheesy. It's a very cheesy compliment. But whatever. Oh, that's so romantic. The gesture it's like something is, out of a is what counts. I I found it endearing at the time. He was very persistent. Was Dad big into local theater? Uh, no. He told me later that he'd actually been at the play on a date with someone else. He told her he needed to head home yeah, and hung she... around the theater to talk to me. He shows you, though. No? Wow. Bold. Did you find that endearing? <laughs> I guess at the time I found it flattering. And a little funny. <laughs> I should have realized it was a red flag. Bro, I want to meet the dad to... S because, like... Opal has a point that like, maybe she's idealizing the father. I want to see how he is in person. Like, from the texting, though, he seemed fine. That would have, like... Wait, are you saying that cheated on you? Don't go there. Yeah, I don't want to go there. So, not the kind of thing Kurt would have done? Oh, I don't know. Okay, whatever. I just want to find out... This is uh, August room. Go mechanics! Oh man, I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Fort State. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. <laughs> yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Fort yes, State yes, family. Papa. You'll be a triple legacy. I know it'll be a triple legacy. Uh, what to call it? Uh, bro, I think it's nice to go to college. A new is though, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It'll be so. Managed to catch up with all oh, my man, streams. Let's it. go with. Eating lunch. Good work. Board hall, doing all nighters in the library. Oh, there was this time when Lucy and I broke into the art building after hours. I have a lot of I bots. I, go to I had to like. What do you mean you don't know edit you a little go to and upload of like a lot. Going. I can make my own choices. What kind of choice is that to be broke? I'm not gonna be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business, and August didn't go to college. August was lucky. Yeah, that's crazy. She's talented, Papa. but she's also lucky. When I'm 18, look, I, I don't want to talk about. This I think my whole it's university cost. I don't know, around six to eight thousand. Uh, the Meme Boys by August Divine. So we already know August likes to write. She's a, lo a little bit more like the, the grandma. Mm -mm -mm. She likes to tell stories and come up with stuff. Save from... And they the bully hair, and that's why she she was like this. That's tie. I see. Poor kid. Yeah. Did she get made fun of a lot at school and stuff? I think she got picked on when she was little, but she toughened up. I guess right around this age. When we came back from our last summer trip. What changed? I don't know. Bro. I, when I was in school, I'm up to like 12 years old. I would say we were part of like the cool kids. Like. There was no like. I bullied anyone or anyone bullied me. But when I went to school, like high school. Like 13, 14. My, my first year, I had like. Five repeaters in my class, two or three years older, and they bullied everyone, man. That was hell. But to be honest, like uh, they said, the next two or three years, you learn how to toughen up. So, yeah. Oh, holy shit, man. The first year was rough. 
Life for all and all my friends. Ooh, what is this? A house stone. Translate, please, someone help me. Fence. Win, van. I cannot reach it, bro. Okay. <gasps> I knew it. Knew what? I'm glad they have this that. Map yeah. Could only be the directions to the lost. This <laughs> is like my handwriting. Tess, this was clearly drawn by a child. Vid is like was a particularly translating her own writing. Seems more like August to me. Looks like she was just playing buried treasure. Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? It'd be like a time capsule. Maybe True. she was going to come back for it it's later. Been like it was her first investment. How long ago? 14 <laughs> she years? She started early. 30? I don't know. Let's just go see what it is. <laughs> she made, she made, she made her, her own language. I found a map to, to bury treasure in Nugget's room. Could we follow? The X marks the spot near the doghouse. The doghouse, guys. Oh my god. I remember having these watercolors. Holy shit. A note. Dear August. Oh, it's very cute. It's a very nice note. I mean, fair enough. You gotta go along to get along. Oh, that's not what this is. She's telling her to act her age, not conform. Isn't that the same thing? Of course not. What happens if you don't look out and meet friends who you get along with perfectly? I feel like there are people for everyone, but what if you never meet them? Ships in the night. Most people meet them later in life. Meeting a good friend in grade school is incredibly lucky. But what does someone like that do? Just have no friends? Get bullied by a bunch of twerps? Grandma just wanted her to Man, have I feel like Don't act I've like been very lucky with friends and stuff grade. during high school you and university. You wanted those. I wanted them because I wanted to have friends, not because I thought they were cute. That's terrible. Those were expensive. So what? Good times? You compromise yeah. a little aesthetically and you can maintain your interior uh, individuality. Very good times. You know what I mean? <laughs> Clothes are the most boring form of expression. What am I going to do? Get a nose ring to be different so I can look like every other person with a nose ring? For real. You are a very strange teenager, Tess. <laughs> that look, though. See? I've maintained my individuality. Mm-hmm. She's not an NPC. You got some personality. Okay. Spirit board, more like a Ouija board. Right, let's pick it up, I guess. Oh my god, Aunt August. I have so many questions. Have you guys ever done one of these? I haven't, and I won't do it because it's fucking stupid. Uh, okay, we open this store now. Oh, is this the key we need it? What is this? What the fuck is that? No video games back then, I guess. Poor deprived kids. What do you mean? <laughs> board games. Man, we had so many board games growing up. Oh, how fun. Wait, did they not get to use these? That's nice. Okay. We're done here. Hold up. So, that's blocked. We never checked the bathroom. Now, what is this? <laughs> During the summers when we'd come here, I had a summer job as a waitress at the drive-in. Yeah, mom was hot. On roller skates? Like in the movies? <laughs> yeah, I guess. And those movies were based on reality. It's like Grace. You know? Have you guys watched the movie Grace? You were cute. You look like a real dark now. She was cute. You were cute. Oh, Where? 
I don't know. Oh, please, Mom, <laughs> stop. You were cute then, and you're, uh, hot mom now. Uh, what? <laughs> According to the boys at school, you are my hot mom. Oh, damn. You didn't know about this? What? No! This, like, uh... I am not. Oh, yeah. No, American it's, pie. it's great. It's great having all the boys at school talking about how hot your mom is. It's great. Regardless, this photo of you is real neat, and I think we should keep it. Sure. Why not? She likes it. Mm -hmm. Nothing else here. Okay, cool. Best to cleanse. What's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Well, dang it, that door stuck. I'm playing this game because I, I didn't want to play something look, too intense that I have to be really focused the on the game so I can be chatting with you guys I more. I get this open with a flathead And I think this game is good to like bring awesome. topics up for like chat. Where's one of those? Um So, I'm oh, happy with the release. I had a little toolkit in the glove box of my van. Oh, we're going nice. to gonna lock pick. Uh, the door to Grandma Helen's room is broken, but it's going to take more than that to keep it from snooping. Mom said we may be able to gym it with uh, we'll gym it open with a little screwdriver. Okay, I will just fucking kick it to be honest, but sure. I agree. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not one of those streamers that can multitask very well, guys. For example, when Fafa plays Elden Ring, she can like, she's fighting a boss and be like, I'm running chat, you know. <laughs> I cannot do that. I'm sorry. Uh. So we need a screwdriver, and also, next to the doghouse, there was something, right? I saw something popping. Oh, dig here. You ready to unearth this mystery? You are really totally understandable. You're trip. good at that, too, man. Crawling through old crawl spaces, and you reach out fast and reply fast, too. Mom, don't let me stop you. There is good and bad about that, yeah. And you are not totally focused on you die a lot. <laughs> or just bad. Could be both. Oh shit, we found a box. Hold up. Um. That's kind of sad. Oh, the tie from the dad. That's cute. There's a note. Goodbye, Nightshade. Thank you for being my friend. I'll miss you, August. So I guess when she was growing up, she had she had this imaginary friend to protect her or something, right? And then at some point, she was like, okay, I need to grow up. No more imaginary friends. That's cute, man. I never went through this page, but... Yeah, yeah I just suck, lol. But my lady. <laughs> so this is where August buried her feelings. Mom, come on, it's sad. I haven't seen anything from know. Elden Ring DLC, keep it. but I heard people Maybe saying August it's really hard. It. So, man, I want to try it out. I wonder if there is anything harder than Melania. Probably there is, because I like, have to think, guys, if, if you're a game developer and you made a game with X difficulty, People, once the people play the game, they're gonna become experts. They're gonna, they, they did Elden Ring hitless, right? So, if you're making a DLC, you have to step up the difficulty because the 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 skill has gone up, right, from the base game. So the DLC must be harder. Otherwise, if it's easier, what's the point? I don't know. I think we should leave it here. I agree. I don't know, Mom. I think we should leave it. Really? August buried Nightshade here. It's his final resting place. Let's respect it. Um. Okay. Rest well, Nightshade. Isn't that an X-Men? <laughs> uh. nah, it's okay. Alright, cool. So we found that little secret. I'm guessing you can go straight for the story and don't do this. Uh, this is like second 
secondary quest. Now, my, my problem is, uh, where is the screwdriver in the van? So we need to open the van, but to open the van, we need to find the key from August's room. Where the hell is the key? They said it was hidden. So, where? Why do they have like, <laughs> what the hell? Guys, if you were hiding a key, what would you had it? Hmm. Up my ass, bro. What the fuck? Hey, you? Probably on the closet. Like, somewhere right. I don't know. Hmm. I'll forget where I had it. Me too. Me too. No, I think I had some things like on boxes or stuff. Like if I have, for example, a shelf with like freaking a hundred books and shit, I usually just put it like bit behind something, you know. Um, isn't? Oh, maybe. Nope. Behind a painting. Check inside, check inside things, maybe. That's what I'm trying to do. Can I, like, open this box? Says doesn't let me open it. Hmm. One of these jars? Doesn't... Bro, that's a fucking key, mate! Wow! Wow! I didn't even get a prompt for that. I I was uh -huh. spamming. I was spamming like bah, 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 until working like one pixel. The fuck? Whatever. We gotta open this now. Oh, it's everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp, an acoustic guitar. So, so this is where uh, her mother used to stay, hey, as in her own room. Scent of mold? Weed. I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. You're just looking for the screwdriver, right? Right. Don't get too nosy, all right? <laughs> Hey. All right, all right. You got something to hide, mom? Look at all this stuff. <laughs> Do you guys have like family photo albums uh, of like either when your grandparents were kids or like growing up or your parents were kids and growing up or both? And like you go through them, you go through those and they... They comment on it. They say something. Wow. Mom was even into theater back then. Huh. Arthur Miller. Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes, nice. A letter. Ooh. <laughs> Brutal, Lori. Brutal. But kind of fair. Classic. Leaving your friends because you met someone. I have done this, so. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, alas. Not so groovy anymore. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Where is the screwdriver? Since she was hippie too, you can see. There's a lot of uh, vinyls. I don't find the screwdriver. 
Maybe there's none. Find anything? I didn't see a screwdriver in there. Maybe I didn't look hard enough. Yeah, I'm sure I had one in there somewhere. Maybe in the glove box? Oh. You might want to check again. Okay, I found a ledger. <sighs> Not gonna talk about that. Oop, my bad. There's a note as well. Holy. Ooh, shit. shit. Wow. So he left her. Okay. Find anything? Well, I found um What is this screen? I think the game is glitch. I think we're supposed to be seeing the daughter and mom, but the game is glitched. I found this note from Kurt. This you guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? No. Oh. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> that sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. I put all my energy into plans, planning... How we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer. I would like to see them. How he's going to be okay. But we were and looking at this instead. One step. day, this. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. Bro. He seems like an asshole. He seems like maybe he just wanted something different than you. Why, why, why dig in the pain? He seems like maybe he just wanted something different than you. Uh, well, he could have yeah. told me that. Instead, he just played along, told me what I wanted to hear. Until <laughs> one day it was just goodbye. Not even face to face, just this yeah. selfish... I, I never done that. And he was gone. I always thought there was a lesson I should have thoroughly. You can't if I rely break up, on other people. I just don't want what? to leave the other person. If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day they won't be. So do you surely have friends or relationships? I don't agree with what the mom is saying. So what? You shouldn't have friends or relationships? Well, no, I just mean you can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away. And be okay on your own when they do. Are you... Sure. You're making it sound like... Are you saying dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, either way. He's not here. Wow. He? Mom, what happened? Wow, 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 wow. With you and dad splitting up. Bro, why the game glitched on this conversation? Like, what the fuck? Like, you wanted him to leave, but... He does? I, I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this, I... <sighs> Oof. That's a See, mad sight. This is why you need to be okay on your own. Yeah. If you're fine on your I own, like it. when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Wow, she got really cold from that. So I guess it was well, more... I've got the screwdriver. Good. That's good. Yeah, because when you enter the van and exit, there's this transition, like this animation. Oh, you see? And I think when I exit, that... Find anything? You, you see right? that screen? Perfect. It, the, it took over the conversation. That sucks, but it's, it's okay. Okay. Can we climb the roof on this? <laughs> so we got the screwdriver. Uh, we can open the mom's, the grandmother's room with that. Ah, door. We meet again. But this time, I'm ready for you. Oh, shit. Are they supposed to be... Is the game glitched? Like, do I need to restart? Hey, good work. Thanks, I'm a... I'm a... 
the master of uh, unlocking. <clears throat> Ooh. Yikes. Yikes. Jill 2.0. Hell yeah. Another postcard. Hold up. Darling, now wait. Bro, hold up, guys. Okay, forget it. Don't look at the game. Don't look at the game, guys. I'm not sure if they reveal how the grand map died, but they were planning this for a long time. What if, what if Leo heart attack was provoked? Oh! Conspiracy theory. What if grandma killed grandpa to go with their crush? That's fucked up. But that has happened for sure, right? Passion, passionate the murder. What if Iron Man died? He's dead, Fav. I'm sorry. Sorry to give you the news, but Iron Man is dead. Gasp. <gasps> um... All right, let's read this. Why is this guy... Why can't he not cross the border? He's like a criminal or something? He's making a lot of promises, but... Are they real? Hmm... I don't know. Bro, this game is. Would you have loved living on a boat? <laughs> I don't think so. I wonder what age he thought I was. He couldn't have thought a teenage girl would want to. Wait. I, I hadn't even thought of that. My mother was just going to take me and August, and we were all going to run off to Canada? I mean, of course she wasn't just going to leave us behind, but. Sounds like Grandma had some big plans worked up. Well, look, he said she started having cold feet. And she must have written him back and said she wasn't sure if she could come after all. You think she realized that maybe her kids wouldn't have been so happy moving onto a boat with some random man in Canada? Can I start calling him Canada Man? You can call him whatever you want. This is so strange. Love makes you do crazy things. Love or grief? Both? Hmm... Hmm. Can't open any of these things. What the hell? Open it. Ooh, a desk. Maybe we need the key for this. Ah, oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma My dad have? has one of these. Uh, you had kind to of open. a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Hmm. You got the key. This gives me an idea. The little key from Gas, my diary. I'll simply smash it open. Both work, but... The little key? From Grandma's diary? Violence is not nice. <gasps> right. Unless it's needed. <laughs> oh, shit. Mine's... Some... What is this? When when the, the... The Grandpa died? Yeah. Trick question. Balance is always needed. Okay, babe. Is that how you're gonna raise your chills? Your, your, your kids? <laughs> uh. Alright, there's a note here. Huh? 
Who is this? What is this not from? Is this the guy we found him? Pierre? What's that? What? I'm sorry. <laughs> An army of cats. What? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids. Hold up! I... Well, was Grandpa Leo n not your real dad? This is what I was saying before. I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre address. Trek. Box 9. Hop to Lake. Carndale, Ontario. We should go check it out. Do you want to check it out? No, we are insisting. We should go check it out. <laughs> what? No. No? But Tess, we already it could be your real dad. Many hours up here or your great your real grand dad. Stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have Go shake it out. Pack up, and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner. And Mom, do you guys have phones? Stop. And th at this time, the fax was very common as well. Like two thousand, they are in two thousand and two or three, right? Maybe they have like emails, and they call. They don't have to go there in person. They call these like call or something. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. The house can wait a day. This can't. You are going to pass up a trip to Canada? It's not about that. It's about the father, man. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. How are you guys liking the game? It's about who I really am. Was I'm my grandfather it. really my grandfather? Who was this guy? Who, who are we? These are big questions, mom. And you're just going to turn around and drive home? Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, I, I'm not doing this because Probably of your Lord. sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. I just happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with and, and why she never told yeah. me about it and who my I agree father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other, then why not, right? Right. Glad I could convince you. You no, guys you think happened to be right. You guys think exactly. Every Glad you kid that's born my way in the end. The father should have a right okay. to have a should DNA test it's getting dark. to confirm he's the father. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. You guys think that should be a thing by law? Get back on the road in the morning. Because imagine okay, raising okay. a kid that's not We're yours for room service. forever. Thank you, mom. Like living a lie. Best weekend ever. Or do, do you guys mind if he's not so your kid? About. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side. Uh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> Maybe. Until we finish talking. Come on. Let's get out of here. Okay. So do you guys think... What the heck? Is this Pierce Lautrec? Guy, my mom's real dad. Scandal. We found an address for some place in Canada. We got to go check it out. Time to hit the road. Damn. Now we're going to Canada, guys. So, I was saying, do you guys think when a kid is born in the hospital, the dad should have a DNA test no matter what? I mean, I know, I know that's a bit of uh, telling your wife or your couple you don't trust them, right? But, <laughs> right? That will create some uh, heated uh, drama as well. But at the same time, imagine raising a child that, that's not yours for for your life. And you, your whole life is a lie. It depends if the father really wants to, in my opinion. But the thing is, if the father asks for it, that's already raising a, a question. That, that's already creating drama for the sake of it. I think the hospital should do it uh, on its own. And if something is off, maybe the father has some right to know. You know what I mean? 
I, I mean, a different whole topic is uh, adopting shells or already knowing like a single mother already having kids and then remarrying someone else. Already knowing that that's not your kid, right? But what I'm trying to say is like when the mother cheats and doesn't tell and the father is unknowingly raising a child that's not his. That's that's I think that's what I that's the unfair. But there's other people who are a lot more <coughs> open, especially with the legs. <laughs> and there's also a lot of guys they just want to get on your pants and they don't care about I don't know I have had a couple of times where I liked a girl and we flirt and we got like you know and then I realized they didn't told me they had a boyfriend or they were having another relationship or something and I immediately left like I nope I don't care because on the f on one side, I don't want a person who does that. Um, and on the other side, I don't want the other guy to feel bad because I, I wouldn't want I wouldn't want that to happen to me, right? I don't know. I think that 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 that, that person is not for me, basically. Will you marry a woman who has been doing only fans or something like that? No. No. Nope. I've, if they do modeling, that's okay. But anything private? I think privacy and intimacy are very... Mm, personal things. And only those people who you got... Uh, in a relationship she'll have from you like she'll have access to not like a random tag price to see you naked that tells me a lot about how you are as a person um if you are selling your own body that's by definition being a prostitute so i don't want it to be with a prostitute <laughs> i think uh, yeah, it's, I think that's that. Just, that, that, that just shows how degenerate our culture is. Uh, we're leaving the summer house. We're going to Canada. But I think that's a very common thing uh, in the United States lately. All right. Time to order that room Fafa. service. I da uh, ho. This is not the kind of place that has a room service. I'm sorry. What? Hotels do room service. This is a motel. Just like the summer place was a mobile home and not a trailer. Right. But the other way around. But there's a restaurant and lounge right next door, though. I'm gonna head down there and get us dinner, okay? And I'm going room to have a cocktail service. while I wait. It's been a long day. Bro, well, I've been on I'm like three, four yeah. star hotels and well, they didn't have room service, right. I think. I mean, That's almost like room they service. clean the shit and stuff, but... What do you want to eat? So like they oh. knock on your door to ask um, what you want to eat, you know? Burger? Um, burger it is. Do your homework. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. My phone is uh, ringing, I think. Oh, how lovely. Dirt flavored water. No thanks. <laughs> I guess she doesn't like coffee. I didn't like coffee when I was her age, so. Alright, we got some text. Anything else? What is this? Of course. American Motel. <laughs> nice. Uh, homework or fun? You can do both. Can do a little, but at the same time, if that texts me, we can just shake very quick, right? And reply. Hey, this is the bear. Hope you had a good day. Busy with some work late tonight, but we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thinking of you always, Dad. Oh shit. 
Who was Francine? I forgot. Ah, the friend, the bestie. I want to text everyone and then do the homework and I do everything. Can I cross the Canada border soon? Wanted to say hi. I have a question. It's about you and mom. Oof. I don't want to go into the whole divorce stuff. I don't want to. I think that's a better conversation for person, not like text. Because texting message loses a lot of uh, meaning. And it's hard to infer what the other person is trying to say. So, for important stuff, always do person conversations or at least voice. Because the tone is really important as well. Okay, let's see what he says about this. Canada? What for? We found some clues in grandma and grandpa's old summer house, and we think there might be too fine there be there be more to find another place across the border. So we're gonna check it out. Yes. Are you hunting four bottle photoglare bottle gold without me? <laughs> Maybe we're gonna see what we find. Oh fuck, I skipped that. I'm sorry. Can't wait to talk to you. I think he said something like, "Okay, take care. We're gonna talk. Uh, we're gonna talk soon." I have a question. It's about you and mom. Oh, we're going there. We're going there, anyways. I didn't choose it, by the way. But I feel a bummer in coming, but okay. <laughs> he knows. Well, you always said mom wanted to leave. Uh, wanted you to leave, and that's why you're not living with us uh, uh, no more. But mom said you were the one that wanted to leave. So I'm confused. Someone to blame. She said that, huh? Well, I'll say it was mutual, kid. But I had a big opportunity out here and I had to take it. I understood why your mom didn't want to come along and that's okay. Hmm. How do you do that, guys? If you have like a big, like the best job opportunity in your life, but you had to leave your kid and wife behind or husband. I think I would choose family first, honestly. Uh, that's why you left home uh, and quit video, ga video galaxy and everything. Family and friends mean the world to me, right, Vid? Same. Unless, okay, the only thing, the only uh, reason I will leave, if it was only like max six months and it was a lot of money, you know? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to be half a year away. I'm going to get shit ton of money. I get back and we live a lot uh, better life, right? That's the only way. But if, if they're telling me like literally go away and then you get divorced and separated, well, uh, no, it's not worth it. I think when you put the preferences in life, why would you get all the money if you don't have a family? Like, just to spend it on yourself? I don't know. I feel... I, I, I will say I will find more fulfillment in my life. Seeing my kids grow and my happy, uh, having my wife happy and everything than having a nice job and money and shit. I don't know. Uh, it's not me. It's not the same without you here or at the store. Ha, I'm sure the store is even better without me. Who wants uh, their a dad as their boss? But you made this store so fun. Sad face. The window displays and the Halloween costume contest and movie quote trivia. The new manager is just boring. So what is your big opportunity out there? Well, you know, I headed out here for a new big venture, and I'm in, in the investment stage. Can't wait to tell you more about it, but just wouldn't feel comfortable till I know it's going to pan out. Just want to make sure everything's perfect for you for when I tell you more. Okay. Remember, you, remember when you were little and uh, you worked out on that book and drew me for weeks and wouldn't let me peek at it? until it was all done. I still got that book right here with me and you didn't want me to see it until 
you had it all perfect. This is just this, this is just like that. You still have that? Okay. That's good. Uh, I can agree with that logic. Sure, money can buy happiness, but you can buy those very same. Uh, you can buy those very same good bonds. Exactly. Money can buy time with family. Time is always ticking. Speaking facts, bro. We're getting deep here. <laughs> you still have that? Yeah, I'll never part with it. No way, no how. I just don't want to disappoint you by jumping the gun. You understand, don't you, kiddo? I can't wait to hear more. Soon, I hope. Got to get back to it. Love you, Tista Bear. Love you too. Alright, we're gonna text friends in. Hey, Frankie, we survived the abandoned summer home. And how haunted was it? Very. Extremely. A little. Not really. Very. There was a skeleton. And a buried friend, ghost friend, whatever. Oh my goodness. How many ghosts did you see? Nothing but ghosts. The place was spock full of them. Now I want to see a ghost. Speaking of spooky, how did your mom react to telling you about Nevada? I feel like sometimes Tess is acting like very mature. She's acting like a 20 years old. And then other times she's acting like a 12 years old. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. But I do that too sometimes, so. Shut up, lol. I didn't tell her. Why are you so obsessed? Why are you so obsessed with that? You need to tell her. What if she doesn't let you go? I'm gonna. And she will let me go. Or I'll sneak out. Just do it now. Okay, I'll, I will when sh it's the right time. When? I don't know. So, did you find what you were looking for? Mm, yes and no. We're heading up to Canada tomorrow. What? Yeah, we found some stuff about who my grandpa might have really been. We're gonna see if we can find out more about him. What? You, may, you might be part Canadian? Yeah, one-fourth maple syrup running through my blood. I'll call you and tell you about when we're home. Reception out here is bad. We are in a weird little motel for the night. Uh, it sucks. Hey, pretty cool. Come on. Bro, I have stayed camping in shithole. So, for me, this is, like, very good. <laughs> pretty cool. It's all I've been touched, and my mom's getting me a burger from the bar. That's awesome. Well, have a have you look around the motel room? Is there uh, any? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Come on, bro. Well, I need to do homework. Leave me alone. Enough texting. Put back home. Wait, what? What is the difference? Let's put it there. Okay. We need to do the homework. But I don't want to do it. We texted our dad a little bit, and we had to do our homework. So, here we go. Do I actually have to do something? Hey, <laughs> it's burger time. How's that homework coming along? Fine. How was the restaurant? Ugh, overpriced. Fine, I didn't do but shit. I guess that's the price you pay for convenience. Here's your burger. Thanks. Enjoy. I'm gonna call August. Tell her I said hi. August. Guess where I am. At a motel in Poetan. <laughs> Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. We paid a visit to the old summer house. You remember the summer house? Mobile home. <laughs> yes, it's still there. Anyway. Oh, if I saw a tricky question or something. Questions about mom and dad. Hmm? This burger is my rival, and I will defeat it. Your homework. Open lid. Let's finish. I just. Do you think. Could dad have. Also, Tess is yeah, going okay. with, uh, with her dad to some kind of trip or something. She wants to talk to you. But she I'm hasn't tell smoke, back in a few. her mother yet. So. 
you. Hello, Teresa. Hi, and August. This is all. It's pretty crazy, huh? Maybe she knows something. Yeah, that's one word for it. How do you feel about it? I think it's pretty exciting. I think it's pretty depressing. I don't know what to think. Both is a mix. I honestly am not sure. Me neither. It's so. It could not surreal. mean anything at the end of the day, I right? But at the same time, it could mean everything. But I also don't think she would have if it wasn't the right thing to do. Yeah. It seems pretty out of character, but she was an interesting person. My dad. I was still pretty young when our dad died. For your mom, I think this is all a lot harder on your mom than on me. Well, that's nice, Papa. Really knew him. I'm sorry. Crochet stream. Right. <laughs> I've spent enough on therapy to almost be over it. Did you guys find anything out there? I haven't been since we were kids. Should we tell her about Nightshade? Your old R2, a picture of lady. Ah, uh, granny stream. I think I'm gonna. I don't, don't want to bring bad nice shit because she buried it, right? But maybe after all these years, it doesn't mean anything and she will be kind of happy to have those memories, you know? Like when someone reminds you of something that was forgotten on your memory or your brain or whatever. And oh, I, I forgot about that. And then that ball lights up. I don't think it's like a bad, bad memory, but at the same time, she came with that because she was bullied, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's talk about the old art. We found some of your old art. Stuff Even though the nightshade oh, conversation so could be interesting as well. I was a creative kid. Do you ever do that kind of stuff now? Well, no, not really. Not as much as I'd like to. Although I have to So this is the first time we hear August. But it would be nice to get back into writing. What about drawing? Following uh, Granny. I was a dedicated steps. artist, but never a very good one. I'll leave the visual stuff to you. What about the house? What was it like? <laughs> it, uh. It was pretty beat up. Yeah. I'm surprised it was still standing. I guess part of me hoped we could just move out there. <laughs> move out there? Oh my gosh. You're breaking my heart. You'd rather live in the middle of nowhere than in Chicago? What? With me, in the townhouse. Didn't your mom say? Oh. No. What about mom? Can she all for stay with you? Of course, both of you. But she doesn't want to. What do you mean? Wow. She... <sighs> Look, you should talk to her about it. She's a bit... It isn't my place. Like arrogant oh, hold on. or stubborn or uh, I gotta go. Love you, Teresa. Okay. Love you too, Anne August. Okay, okay, can I can I did did I not finish my homework yet? I think I did because I cannot do anything else. Alright, let's eat this. Ooh, yummy. Yum. 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 What is uh, mom eating though? Should we offer a little? <laughs> I don't know. Let's finish it, I guess. <sighs> I have vanquished uh, the mighty burger. Uh, should we... What is that noise? Is that like cars passing by or something? Should we just go to bed? Uh, last time I could pick up the TV remote controller, but now it doesn't let me anymore. Whatever. Need to take a poopoo, -poo, guys. Okay. Can I turn off the lights? I don't like having the... <laughs> I don't like having lights on during the sleep. Whatever. 
Back to the and road. Jocelyn is looking yep. at him, and it's so obvious that she forgot her line, and of course she did, because she only got off book a few days before. So she works at the theater, but at she's her. not really successful. Uh -huh. And Todd needs her to say it, otherwise the whole scene makes no sense. But and she's really passionate about it. It's opening night. I just don't think they and make so money then, from it. She just so. says, Who are They're you? homeless, basically, the at this moment. The pirate of Penzance? Tess. What? Are you even <laughs> listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm listening. If you want to just drive quietly for a while, that's fine. I can do that. You can tell me. This drive is a freaking boring. I wonder what's going on with that and Francine. She wants to text. Wait, where's my cell phone? Oh no, she can forgot I it. In my backpack? Oh. What is this? They bought some chips, gum, and some so uh, soda, I guess. Okay. Oh no. You better not what? forgot your cell my phone. My cell phone. I left my cell phone at the hotel. Are you sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. Oh, no. We have to go back and get it. We have to go back and get it. I need my phone. I'm not sure how long they've been driving. So if it's like 20 minutes back, sure. But if it's like two hours... I don't know. I'll just keep going and then on the way back, I'll stop by on the hotel and be like, Hey, I forgot my phone. Like... A week ago or something. <laughs> do you do you get it? I don't know. Uh we have to go back and get it. Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your phone for one day. You don't understand. Oh no, all the texts and everything. It might be gone if we don't go back for it. Francis is going to be worried about me. I just need it. Uh Don't they have like don't does her mom have a phone to text uh, Francine? I don't know. It might be gone if we don't go back for it. I'm sure it'll be in the motel lost and found. We can pick it up on the way home. Yeah. Mom, we have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We Yes, can... we have. We left one hour and eighteen minutes ago. Well, we can drive faster on the way back. I am not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to get. You know, I haven't seen I've, a single goddamn car in this road. There if it wasn't for you. Jet, so. You were lying the cops? to me, and I was so distracted. And now, and now you won't even go back. And hold on, hold on, hold on. She's getting I was so lying mad. Lying to you? When was I lying to you? You didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> oh, she shots Why fired. Would you just lie to me and say August was unwilling to help us. I didn't... I didn't lie. I... She doesn't want to help. Helping would be buying the house, and when I asked, she said no. But she offered to let us stay with her. And I said no. There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. <laughs> At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't gonna sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Mm. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I... Money might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. If you and Dad were still together, where do you think we'll be right now? DM. Why are you so dis disinterested in my business? Why don't you like August? I I'm, a I'm interested in this one, honestly. But I feel like Tez is... I mean, she's a teenager, you have to understand. She's 16. But she's always reacting a little bit. But, yeah. Why don't you like August? Excuse me? Where did you get that idea? You always act like she's a pain. I mean, if, I don't, if we didn't have a home for like a month or two, First of all, and my aunt offered me to stay with her, her. Bro. It's a lot easier to make money when you live by yourself. 
especially if you're so far away. Your own family isn't. And I, I have stayed at my cousins to, to sleep over, and they have stayed Obviously at my house like Chicago. countless times. So. You're making her sound so selfish. She's not like For me, that. it's very natural. You've never lived with her, Tess. It's not gonna be like your little vacation. August thinks she knows what's best for everyone. I can't be around someone like that every day. Wow. I can't imagine what that feels like. <laughs> Do you think you're the only person with problems and the rest of us are just running around doing whatever? You're exhausting. No wonder Dad. Oh, like, that's too bad. Don't bring your dad don't, into don't this. Say that. Why not? Why can't we talk Damn. about Dad? Actually As talk a low about blow. Dad for once. The divorce that I don't want to have this discussion right now. Bro, Fine. Tess. You don't want to have She's this so She's not even being passive aggressive. She's what? straight up being. When I see Dad, when I go next month. An ass. You're not going to Nevada next month. Yes, I am. I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business. I'm From going. From your business. I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back. If you just told me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask Dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? Oof. Things are getting. Know what's the truth? I don't Fine. like when, when things Here's are getting this way. It's better to like take a little break, mutual. deep I breath, relax. You. Because it's Your all emotional. There is no rationality in this conversation. You just throw in me to say, punches oh, at each other. Sure, They're not gonna solve to anything. Abandon me and my daughter. It's not productive. And dying mother to try out your next get rich quick scheme. What? What kind of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy, just like always. He gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean mom and do all the work. So I divorced him. I'm sure he's just as proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. Uh... So sure, go to Nevada, ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth. Like at the end of the day, she's the one taking care of her daughter, and that he's the one who left, right? But yeah. Not only did I lose my phone, but I uh, I got in a fight with mom. This sucks. I guess now we are just going to sit here in silence until we get to the stupid houseboat. What a fun road trip. That was sarcastic. Oh well. It's a dead end. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's through here. Thanks for the help. How do you even find the addresses <sighs> Look, in this kind I of place? I know you're upset. We both are. Like street number Let's or... Let's just get in, see what we can find about Pierre, and get out. Before I change my mind. Agreed. Okay. At the end of the day, I'm glad she accepted coming to this trip and we're going into this adventure. At least they are sharing something together, you know? Uh, looks like we finally made it to the houseboat we saw in the picture. Most likely owned by the mystery man, a.k.a. Pierre Lautrec. Whatever we find here, better be worth it. Oh, damn. Yeah. I think it is abandoned, though. I don't think there's anyone living here, but no wonder. Latrec, that's the name of the mystery man. Maybe Think she has some uh, postcard from hmm. uh, Granny. Guess we'll never know. It's locked anyway. Maybe that's for the best. Tampering with other people's mail is illegal. I mean, have you seen? Obviously. <laughs> We found a mailbox label of trade. We can find. Uh, we can get into it. though, mom said it will be legal, but that's qu uh, quite a tall. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think anyone anyone will uh, worry. Hmm. What's your step? Let's enter this first, I guess.
it's weird. It's a bad one. Important notice. Oh, this is uh, a dam. Hmm. <gasps> Pierre. He Pierre was, here. was here. Looks like we're on the right track. Yeah, but I don't think there's any other clues around here. Let's look on the houseboat. How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use. Oh boy. We wanna get across the boat, but if we try to jump, the guy will break our shin bones. Maybe there's something around here that we can use to get across. This blank. <laughs> this is so stupid. We're trespassing. We need to go back home. But we what if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Or who knows what's even in that boat? Or if the floorboards are all rotted or or but we're already here. Yeah. And the trailer home... Mobile home. The mobile home was fine. I, I just think, if we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? To find Pierre? Mm. <laughs> okay, fine. You stay here. She's so good at convincing her. No, you can't go in without me. Don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I... You're right. I'm sorry. I just... We've done all of this so far together. I just don't want to give that up. Oh. All right. We'll do it together. But I should go first. <laughs> no, I should go. No way! What if you <laughs> fall off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor, aged mother walk across a rickety bridge before I'm sure it's safe. Let's flip a coin. Call it. Heads or tails. Uh, heads. No. Uh, let's. Heads. Let's uh, RNG gods decide. I won. Just be careful <laughs> and stay away from the edge. Okay. What if we fall in purpose, guys? I'm just looking. Is there anything back here? Nope. Hmm, it's kind of relaxing being here, honestly. But at the same time, it looks so, like, desolated. Let's see. Oh, it's open. I just hope it's we locked. find... This must be where the money is. I seriously doubt that, but we just find some we'll either new address or some I'd resolution to, try, to the. I don't want you hurting yourself. To the letters they send each other. All right, pretty sturdy. Pierce office. Whatever's in there could blow the lid off this whole thing. Of course, it's locked because nothing is never easy. Well, he must have a key somewhere. Oh, there's a letter here from Helen. Oh, shoot! Let's read first. I was surprised. Mm -hmm. So this is after Pierre offered her to come live with her, right? Yeah. She's, she's having doubts. Ooh, she was here. She was in this bed. Nice. Take a picture, send it on Discord when you finish. 
or on, during the progress. Wait, she was, uh... Wow, cool. Tess, don't touch that. Why not? It's just as grimy as anything else in this boat. <laughs> Plus, I want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh, you don't know where that's been. It's literally been right here for 30 years. I mean, before that. <laughs> like... <sighs> oh, and... Never mind. And I think it was fringe jackets. The winter campus fashions in 1968? And patterned tights. But really, put that down. Uh, okay, let's talk about this letter. Let's talk about the picture first. Wow, this is from when Grandma was really young. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. You look a lot like her. <laughs> really? I always thought I looked more like my father. Um, maybe you were just imagining things? More... Oh. You mean because he might not have been my father? Hmm. Huh. I suppose I can see the resemblance now that I think about it. You have her smile. Cute. Oh, she... <laughs> A letter from Grandma! Can you imagine if my mother had actually moved us up here to stay? I'd be Canadian. <laughs> you wouldn't even exist. Whoa. What? Well, who knows if I would have had a daughter if my whole life had changed back then. I certainly wouldn't have met your father. Wow. So this is like looking into an alternate reality. I'd like to live in another reality. Like what? One where we're really rich. One where you and dad st were still together. Uh -huh. One where you and dad were still together? <sighs> I mean, I just wish you two were able to work things out. Well, it's not possible. There's no way to that reality it's necessary. from here. <laughs> it's not possible. No, it's necessary. Um, cool. A bit small, honestly, but let's see the... Let's see the... The other floor. But I remember one. I have been. I, I have done a few boat travels, but I remember one particularly. It was like two, three hours long, and the sea was crazy. And it, I wanted to vomit for like two hours straight. It was so bad. It was like being pulled back and forth non-stop really heavily. <laughs> Holy shit. Boy, oh. really getting into the sea captain persona, aren't we? Did the boat ever even leave this dock? Okay. There's a few notes around here. Damn, 40 grand. We've definitely found our man. This must have been from when he drove up here. Imagine spending $6 on a steak lunch. Or $7 for a tank of gas. Did people just 30 years ago. drink more back then? Which was uh, a lot more expensive. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But this is a lot, even for 1968. I'd say not to open water, but I don't know. The place we went though was amazing. Even though, <laughs> I don't know, this this is such a long story. I don't want to get into into it. I will be. I could be talking for days of like two hours. It was like uh, I don't know, too long. But yeah, the trip was like the boat itself. I I've done other boat trips and they were fine. They were they were. There are more um, like bigger boats, and the sea was more calm. It was like chill. 
this suit didn't stripe. But that one was like, I was like, <laughs> it was rough. I got time, lol. Nah. Trust me, it's like a very long story. <laughs> I I don't mind one day going on Discord and telling you, but yeah. I'll like another time. But I want to finish the game though. 65 years ago. It was, uh, and when I was young. Um. Legon Terrence received from Mr. Willow Trade. Three thousand dollars in exchange for the houseboat. Okay. Three thousand dollars for a houseboat? Are you saying that's a lot or a little? I think it's little. A little? Only three thousand dollars for a boat you can live on? It's a house and a boat. That's <laughs> that's two whole things for just three thousand dollars. Some people don't even have one thing. It does seem like he probably got a pretty good deal. Do you think the boat had something wrong with it? Maybe Pierre just drove a hard bargain. Hmm. Why can't I go down? Well, how do I open this? It's locked. Uh, maybe we can... No. Because for sure there is a... A bottom floor there. Maybe I missed something on the... On the bedroom. Did I miss something? Hmm. I cannot pick that up. Hmm. Get that. The humidity of the handprint. How do I even go there? Cool. Nobody to spy on, though. Well, what am I missing? Hmm. I don't see any keys. They have a flare again. Um. I don't know. Oh, I can't go around here. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, we found it. We found the way. We found uh, the way. Ooh. Dodge this. Oh, he. Evil. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Life jackets. A <clears throat> nice shower. Ooh, wow. Ouch. Ouch. He had everything prepared, man. Oof. That's rough. To know that it didn't happen. <clears throat> maybe something happened to him. Or maybe the grandma just didn't... Didn't want to come at the end. But seeing that room... That hurts a little, honestly. Ledger. Yeah. Mm, so some groceries, supplies. Okay. Robbers hit again important. Hmm. So he got robbed or he was the thief? 
The burglary ring. Mom, Grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber. <sighs> Why else would he have this? Maybe my mother sent it to him. For what? To keep him abreast of current events. Oh, come on, Mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? Well, okay, they didn't rob any banks. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. <laughs> and but things like that, like it's not the same ring to me. And it wasn't robbery. It was. That's burglary. why he was. Uh, What's the difference? He going across the border. You take something from someone under duress. A burglary, you take it when they're unaware. I think. You think? <laughs> Listen, it's been a while since I've brushed up on my criminology. That's why. Why are they so sure it was men? What? It says the men broke into the store, but there were no witnesses. So how do they know it was men? You're thinking lady robbers. Like Catwoman. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Very cinematic. Do you think Grandma could have helped? Are you seriously asking if I think my mother was an accomplice in all this? Why not? On second thought. Why not? She had two kids at home, and I just don't see it. <laughs> Seems like there was a lot about Grandma you weren't seeing. Excuse me? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? <laughs> we're pushing. We're pushing very far, guys. Maybe not. But. Who knows? Maybe our grandma was a partner in crime. Okay. Nice freaking place, honestly. They have a mini bar, kind of kitchen, living room, like dining room, I guess. Ooh, yummy. Tobacco box on a pipe. And they were playing poker. Okay, so <clears throat> attention, every oh man, what? this doesn't work. Should have seen that coming. Oh, we have found the key. Aha! Found the key, boys. Let's go. Uh, beers, wine, liquor. Oh, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Mr. Lotrek, address French Court, Josia Lincoln. This is like a new address. Wow, that is a lot to spend on whiskey. $45? A lot for back then, I mean. Whiskey was more expensive then, too. Plus, judging from the state of this place, this was probably a reoccurring order. Jeez, slow it down, Pierre. I don't think he was handling my mother's change of heart too well. With this amount of booze, it doesn't look like he was handling anything too well. Listen, let's just get back to it. It's cold in this busted old boat. Uh, we haven't really found the answer of what we're looking for. Is there anything on these cabinets? Some booze I can take with me? Do you think it doesn't age, right? Like, spoil. Flashlight. Okay. Um. Evil Dead. Is that a reference? So we can go upstairs from here, but I want to check the the kids' room. There is a present and everything, like a welcome. Oh man, like he 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 had everything prepared. So, oh, uh, it's for four players. Sorry, Pierre. Oof. So I wonder what did Grandma do with uh, her two kids if she didn't come here? You know, like how did she manage? Ooh, a letter from uh, Grandma Helen.
Oh, she knows about the robbery, I guess. You tell him, Grandma. Yeah, not one to mince words. All those years of writing advice columns paid off, I guess. Yo, Clever, kind of welcome. Nice she was thinking about you guys, too. Not just uprooting your life, dumping you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I can't imagine what it would have been like to grow up here. <laughs> You'd have to learn French. French? <gasps> Sacre bleu. <laughs> oh, no, it's already happening. <laughs> That's this is probably the most important note in the whole game so far, right? She's she's prioritizing. So, at, at, but th by this point, I guess she's already telling him she's not coming. So yeah, doing okay. Good to hear, clever. Have you played? Have you been playing something lately? I've been absent for a little bit there. Uh, at the end of uh, spring and beginning of summer, but I'm uh, hopefully coming back to stream more often. All right, so we got the key. Let's go into the office. Back and better than ever. Is that you? Is that what's gonna happen when Fafa comes back too? Hello, Lena. Hello, hello. Let's check everything. Okay, we found a letter. Okay. This is it, guys. This is it. Oh, boy. Final response. Oh boy. So I when I read this, I guess grandma is confirming uh her kids are from this guy. Right? Oh damn. <sighs> we found the answer. So I guess that's it. I hope they address both that she didn't come here and that she's their real father. So I guess that's it? Grandma and Pierre went to all this trouble and then Grandma just changed her mind? Yeah, this is close to the end of the game, Clever. She wasn't so convinced in the first place. We've been well, through two, three hours. Like this for so long. He bought a boat and fixed up the kids' room and everything? Maybe she just wasn't sure at first, or didn't want to hurt him. Oh yeah, I bet he felt oh, nice, great about yeah. reading this. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Is there anything behind? Hold up, hold up, hold up! There's more. Broken promises. Oof. That's rough, man. What is this key for? Looks like oh, for the mail, key. for the mailbox. Oh, yeah. I was hoping that would turn up. I swear, you could be so nosy sometimes. Okay, let's check that out. I'm not sure if we're gonna find anything else more interesting that we already, f what we already found. No problem, Lila. Thank you for stopping by, though. 
<laughs> Are we enough? Mm. I mean, we didn't confirm she. Like, this guy is uh, a real granddad. Looks like Pierre tried to mail this, but he I wish they, the she will meet something. her father in the game or Let's something, but I don't think that's going to happen. Wait, opening other people's mail? Bye-bye. Have a good night. Uh, opening other people's mail? I call mom. Live a little. Bro, it's like fucking 30 years old card. Or maybe, what if grandma sent him a car like a decade later or two decades later? You know, that's crazy. If this guy was your real father, <laughs> you're his next of kin, so it's fine. Uh, Is that how that works? I don't know, probably. Makes sense to me. I suppose you have a point. Sure. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, let's see. To whom it may concern. Sheriff. Deputy. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, she DM. Oh, she is some mafia stuff. Oh, it was like pressure into it. Oh, damn, that's so tragic. Oh, damn. And then he confessed to the to the police. Leonard Lambros. Is this his real name before he changed his name for Pierre Lautrec? Holy shit. So Pierre was my dad? He wrote this whole confession, but it never made it. It's been here ever oh, since. Oh, I can't believe it. Well, it says right there. I... No, I mean rhetorically, Tess. <laughs> Jeez. Right, right. Uh, I'm. <sighs> so my mother wasn't having an affair at all, or whatever this would have been. Not except with Grandpa's secret identity. <sighs> so my father ha hadn't died. When we thought he'd had a heart attack, he was just here, on this dock. We never got to know him. He, he was just a car ride away. August and I suffered over something that never even happened. I mean, you're not, I mean, you're the person you, you thought was your dad, who you had emotions for, died. So, suffering from that, I don't think it's trivial. It kind of did happen, though, didn't it? I'm really sorry, Mom. Yeah. I'm really sorry, Mom. For your whole life, you thought your dad had just died, and you had to live with that. That really sucks. <sighs> I can't believe I... I can't believe he just... abandoned us. All this time, he was... here. I, he gave up his family, his children. For an old boat and some booze. I wish I could have talked to him. Just one more time. And my mother living a lie for the rest of her life. I can't... I can't even imagine. I just wish I could have talked to her about it. Mm -hmm. While she was alive. I just... Wish you could have been there for her. Wish you could have trusted you. 
Wish it didn't turn out this way. Wish you could have been there for her? Yeah. If we could have just... She didn't have to carry all this alone. I can't believe she would do that to us, lie to us her whole life. Why didn't she say anything? Even when we were all grown up. Maybe... Maybe she was trying to protect you. Yeah, maybe. August was so little. But I was old enough to know the truth. I just wish we would have talked. So, that's it? He spent all his money, tried to send this confession, and disappeared, and he never came back? Do you think he could still be alive? <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, I... I honestly don't care. It doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, he's gone. I mean, it kind of does, but... You don't want to keep going? The same way she wanted to talk with her mother before she died. Yeah. You will want to talk to your real dad before he dies. Or at least confirm he's not dead. But he really just left me like everyone else. Yeah, but... I didn't leave you. Well, maybe not yet. But your dad. Wow. I thought you said you were the one who kicked dad out. I mean... Well, it wasn't quite like that. I guess... Listen, I'll give you the full oh, story shit. in the car. I'm freezing out here. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Tess, thanks for doing this. For coming Spill with the me. Tea. Of course. I, I'm trying to put myself in a position to find where I have a happened. kid and they're yes, actually they're suffering from... I know I haven't been the best mom lately. A divorce? But, but I am I, so lucky. Are they entitled to know the truth? Kind. Oh, mom. Or that's between the <laughs> beautiful, hard working. Stop, stop. You make me cry. <laughs> Just such an amazing daughter. Mm -hmm. I love you, mom. I love you too, honey. Hey guys, we have Mother's Day, we have Dad's Day. When is the uh, Son's or Daughter Day? <laughs> okay. That's everything. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. You got a point, Papa. Well. Turn the radio on or talk about Dad and Mom. Divorce. Hey, Mom. I was thinking about something. I wonder what Grandma would say about all this. <laughs> Good question. What do you think? I don't think she'd be too happy. Now, girls, I hid those private things away so people wouldn't find them. I don't know why you couldn't leave well enough alone. Well, if you didn't want people to find it, maybe you should have gotten rid of it. Well, okay. Maybe I did want you to find it. A little bit. So you asked about what happened with me and Dad. Uh-huh. Well, your dad, you know, was always looking for the next thing. Always had a new idea to try that was going to fix all his problems. Our problems. And for a while, it was the video store. And then that sales thing. And then he decided that he was gonna be a professional poker player is that what you meant by full-time gambler yeah i mean not really a gambler he's not playing with his own money it's all tournaments and stuff they're playing as a sport yeah i don't like that that's insane didn't anybody tell him the house you always like it? wins oh i did but this isn't playing poker against the house it's against other players there is no house Believe me, I heard all his justifications. There were plenty. And even though he's been gone for a couple years, he's never told me why he's really out there. Why wouldn't he tell me? Maybe deep down, he's not so proud of it. Maybe he just didn't want to tell me till after he'd hit it big? So he chose right when Grandma really started getting sick and we moved in to take care of her to go off and follow his dream? He must really like poker. He likes it. 
but I wouldn't say that's the real reason he left. The split came at a really hard time. The theater was doing worse, and I was spending all my time there. Then your grandmother started really declining and needed more and more help. I think when I decided we needed to move in with her to care for her, well, being a full-time caretaker for his mother-in-law was not something your father ever signed up for. <sighs> so he left for Nevada. He wanted to stay married, said we could make it work. But by that time, it was already over. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I realized that this, this was a pattern that would never really end. Do you blame me for ending it? Oof. No, I get it. I just wish he was here. Bro. I understand them both, honestly. But I understand her more. Like, I understand most of her decision, but I don't agree with the final decision of, like, ending it. Like, I understand she being frustrated, she not agreeing with the, uh, the dad's move. I understand everything like that. But uh, to end it, I don't know, I think they could have... I think the club still fix it, but maybe I'm too hopeful or too uh, optimistic or something, I don't know. And getting it doesn't take away the wish that he was here, right? Like, these are two valid options. I'll divorce, yeah. Because from her voice tone and from her phrasing, you can kind of tell that she still loves him, right? Like, there's a couple of inconveniences. She doesn't agree with him. But she still loves him. And, obviously, she can see her daughter also loves her dad. So, I don't think there's, like, a broken family that could not be broken with a couple of, uh... This is uh, coming to terms. Like, okay. Talk. Come to an agreement. Make a deal. Okay, don't do that, don't do that. But the, the, the other guy's like, nah, I'm just doing my thing and I don't care about anyone input. That's a bit selfish from the dad's part, right? So, you have to think what's best for you and your family at the end of the day. Not just... Oh, yeah. I just wish he was here. I just wish he was here. I miss having him around. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to have a dad who just leaves at least i can still text him for you i mean we thought he died which was still awful but i guess it was way better than knowing he was there all along just a day away i'm sorry mom thanks tess i'm glad that well your father has faults but i don't think he'd ever fake his own death and never talk to you again I mean, if there wasn't anything good about him, I wouldn't have married him in the first place. I'm sorry for buying the tickets. Oh. I should have talked to you first. Oh, now they're, they I are I thought, I don't being know, sweet to each other. Dad, like, explain everything to me in a way that made sense and that he was living some great life out there. No, you, you shouldn't apologize. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I, I guess I was embarrassed. That I would have married such a ding-dong. <laughs> Professional gambler. I didn't want to have to say it out loud. But I guess you can't keep running hey, away from Hey, if they're successful working on that, they now can make shit to them on, right? To so. I think you should go. To Reno? Yeah. I think it would be good for you to hear his side of the story. We may not always get along, but Dowly, he's not Mom. a bad guy. And you guys have a good relationship. You should spend some time with him. I think it'd be good for both of you. Uh-huh. Are, are you sure, Mom? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's not over Thanksgiving, right? Oh, God, no. And Miss August's mac and cheese? Fat chance. I'm proud of you, Mom. 
For what? What do you mean for what? You're kick ass. <laughs> How many moms would stop packing up their house to drive their daughter all over Michigan to search for a family secret? True. Or run their own business, run a community theater. That's pretty cool. Bro. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe not the brightest idea from a financial perspective. Hey, it she's following her passion, trying to make Thanks, it work honey. for a living. That, that That's a uh, commendable, and like something That's to admire. pretty impressive that you made enough money to buy a plane ticket. Yeah, it's exciting that people are willing to pay me to design websites. Uh -huh. Well, I've Look, seen what go. you can do, and you do a great job. Oh, thanks, Mom. I'm serious. When I saw your web stuff, I mean, I don't always know what I'm looking at, but <laughs> I know it looks good. <laughs> Bro, websites at 2000 An were something eye, else. Just like your grandma. And my mom. Oh. But maybe it skipped over my aunt. <laughs> Come on. Her painting wasn't that bad. <laughs> well, I guess... I guess I always imagined that you'd go to Ford like grandma and me. It's silly, but but it's not fair of me. God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do. Oh, can't relate to that. Uh, God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do. Like doing Kurt, like seeing Kurt. <laughs> that's a bit too much. So mom was against uh, this. Like seeing Kurt? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Amongst many other things. But yeah, it's hard to let go. To see you as an adult, not just my baby girl. Ow. Mom. <laughs> you were so cute back then. Even cuter than <laughs> Thank now. Thank you, I guess. Stop. <gasps> and you had the biggest head. Everyone said it. Everyone said, that's the baby with the biggest head. Bowling ball head. The bowling ball baby. <laughs> Yep, and it was all your dad. On my side, we all have perfect, tiny little heads, like golf balls. Mm-hmm. So, hey, what head, do you think head size is related August to brain size, so. Moving in with her? Big head, yeah. big brain, you know? I guess it's a big decision, moving to Chicago. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. Would you want to move in with her? I'm... They were talking about August, right? Seems like a good choice. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure. What about the Andromeda and Francine? It means starting over, kind of. Yeah. But it could be nice to get a fresh start. We've been through a lot of big changes this year. You've been through so many big changes. But I mean, we're making it work. And whatever we decide, we can make it work. I'm confident in that. Yeah. Me too. We should call August and tell her about all this. Oh, hey, August. Guess what? Our dad really is our dad. <laughs> you can sleep easy. We're not French-Canadian after all. <laughs> Change is good. Whatever we end up doing, I'm just glad. I'm glad you're with me. Yeah. Me too. Ah, so cute. This is the end. GG's Open Roads. I guess you can understand Open Roads, the game title, as in like life is a open road. You can take many directions. It can't uh, go many ways, right? I feel like we're gonna do a group hug after this. Group hug, guys. Don't cry. E. Alright, that was an interesting game. <laughs> um, I don't want to get copyright, so I'm gonna lower the credits volume a little. Hey, right, open roads. Uh, I like the game overall. Um, interesting art style, like we said. Uh, I think the best thing about this game is the voice acting. 
because the animations or anything is not great, but you can feel what the characters are going through from what you're hearing. That because that's the only input you really have. They, they don't have like super complex uh, facial expressions, like they're in a like wow. Uh, I mean, they 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 express what they're feeling for sure, but the voice accent it hit me a couple of times, honestly. I wish the game was a bit longer and we could have uh, go with that and meet him and talk to him the same way, but it's okay. Uh, the writing, the plot of the uh, of the story was really interesting. It kept me engaged uh, through it all, all the way. Uh, so very good writing, very good voice acting. The music was there was like some sound of uh, some background <laughs> W credits. As an, it was not like a memorable song rather than this one, I guess. Another thing I really like is the the graphics and the 3D model of the objects, like taking you back in time to the early 2000s. Especially if you have grown up in that era, it's it hits different. I feel like. And then all the stuff from like the 60s, the the 70s nostalgia. Yeah, it's a very nostalgic game for sure. Like there's so many like items like real items from back uh, back the days and i don't know seeing all, all all the technology and the letters and all the stuff it's very nice uh there were a couple of bugs and glitches nothing too bad but yeah um overall like i said good game I'll rate it 1 to 10, uh, 6. 6 out of 10. Pretty decent score, I think. Yeah, open roads. I'm glad I played this, honestly. I was hesitant. Because uh, I before I played the game, I, I, read, I, I read a couple of reviews and they were like, eh, it's not too good, it's kind of... Uh. Like, I feel... A couple of conversations were, felt very bland and they ended in like, wait, what? Not very natural. But then most conversations, more dialogues, they were really like, it's flowing and very realistic. It's like day to day interactions. So, yeah. Anapurna, of course, man. Anapurna has to be, has to be my favorite publisher. Holy shit. <laughs> I think 90% of the games I play from there, I, I love them. And I love that they give opportunity to indie developers. Because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know the numbers, but they had to provide some budget to, to make this game happen. Because imagine you are an indie developer and your budget is like $10,000 or $50,000. And these guys are like, okay, we're going to publish the game, we're going to get some revenue, blah, 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 but we're going to provide you a double amount of what you have now. So you have a lot more possibilities on what you can afford, what you, what you can create as an artist. So props, props to Annapurna for giving these people uh, live opportunities. Thanks for playing. Thank you for making this beautiful game. GG's.